All right, all right, all right. Welcome back, everybody. So, sorry about that bit of absence, but it's pretty much guaranteed that every weekend from here on out, I will probably not be here. <laughs> it's not just because, like, I don't want to burn myself out and I don't want to stream on those days. It's just that I will simply not be able to. I mean, in some cases, I do want to stream on those days, but I mean... I don't be like one of those YouTubers that just ends up getting uh, somehow flustered within two seconds of starting up their career. One second, I'll just making sure that the coast was clear because the thing is, is that I do want to be a little bit more rambunctious today. To be loud as hell. And you know what? I probably could do that today. Ugh, because no one is here for once, so I probably shouldn't get a noise ordinance violation on me again. I don't know. Fuck them. God. It's actually kind of nice to be able to be able to yell for once. I don't understand how people like living in close quarters with the people for a long period of time. It, it's just shite. Okay. Fluffo. Let's uh, let's quickly calibrate the head of yours. Oh my fucking god. Show me the interface. Because for some reason the fluffo head was not properly aligned. So it kept just dipping farther and farther below. I don't know how it does that. Oh fuck it. Let's get back into it. There we go. Finally. So everything should be working. I didn't mess it up this time. I remember to press the stream button and all of that. I am a proper big boy streamer now. Oh god, please don't tell me. Why does it keep notifying me whenever I go live? I know I watch my own content to figure out, you know, how bad I'm doing, but at the same time... Stop. I don't need to know when I go live. YouTube already has an issue with notifying uh, just regular content or regular subs of when something goes online. And yet, I'm like... I'm in the fucking loop whenever I go online. Well, I wonder why. Could it be that... Mm, I don't know. I'm a part of the key. I am the content creator itself. Ooh. I wanted to show you this. This is actually something I found kind of interesting. So this was a form post posted by somebody earlier today. One second. Let me see if I can show you this. This is just the music, by the way. But this guy right here, you know, it's a very long form post. goes into detail about the actual grind patterns and all of that. But the thing is, is that the whole gist of this thing is that the grind for this game when it comes to PvP and PvE collectively has gone up about, what, an extra 38 hours per legendary item? This doesn't account for, you know, minute things, but the thing is, 38 extra hours or something like that, 48 extra hours in raids, 100 hours in missions, something absurdly more difficult to actually do. Especially considering that a lot of it's been heavy emphasis on raids and whatnot to actually encourage people to actually do that. Where is your tractor? You know what? I did... I did make something similar. One second. Let's take a look here. I did make this offline. This is Rammerstein. You all know Rammerstein. But we actually did make the team carrier, which is kind of close. It's a full-fledged, like, trailer truck type of deal. I'm still working on the truck bed design here. Uh, God, the cursor's getting locked again. There we go. So we're still getting the design down for this. We still need to get another dual pair of tires, and I want to actually change this to large wheel tires. The issue is that's about, you know, $400, $500 worth of tires. So we're still working on that, but this is, like, so far, the tractor design that I'm using. And this is actually strangely a good design. Like, my vehicle lasts... An extremely long time in raids. A lot more than usual. And this thing does a crap load of damage. So I'm not, I'm not too worried about it. And the horsepower in this thing is nice too. So that's the one I've actually been making. I don't know. Is this the tractor you're looking for? Is this the droid you're looking for? And let me see. Oh yeah, Scold and Commander Root. I'm pretty sure these are all bots if I remember correctly.
Yeah, fuck off advertisements. There strangely have been a lot more bots in my chat for some reason. I think it's because I've been doing the exclamation point SR. I think it's like an attraction beam. See, look at that. That's the big extractor you got. Of course, I've been thinking about trying to use some different parts for the uh, upper rails. But I really don't have anything that's too long, and I don't have enough of these pipes. I mean, the thing is, I need to get to, like, level 15 with every faction before I can really even start designing a vehicle properly. Because I'm just, like, skimped out on half these parts. It don't look so good, Captain. Ooh, you know what? I could do that. I could use narrow wings instead. It's kind of like a weird way to, like, add a little way to keep everything inside while making it look light. Because these things look ungodly huge. It's so like if did something like this instead to keep everything on the inside. And this is to give it the truck aesthetic. You know, I think this actually kind of works. Or should we actually go for more of an aluminum style pattern here? You see, this is the truck bed you've been looking for. This I don't mind. It's actually probably one of my more complex quote-unquote trucks to actually make. Here, fuck it, let's put a the team carrier back in. If I could spell it all. I may upload that to the exhibition later, I don't know. My exhibition's completely full of crap right now. Especially considering most of what's in there is mostly legacy stuff. Alright, I think that's everything. And your truck's actually been losing quite a bit. So we actually did manage to finish the hard seasonal... It actually didn't take too long this time, since for some reason, a lot of it was just like... I'm trying to remember off the top of my head what it was. It was just like crap stuff. Like, we just had to do killing raids. A lot of those were just destroy 78 raiders. Or one of them was destroy 12 raiders by ramming. Streamers connected follow the... Oh my goodness. The bots! It's actually strange. The amount of bots inside uh, Twitter and Twitch recently has gone up a lot. But we actually did get the crate. So where is this at? So right now we actually got this crate. The thing is though, if you noticed anything about the recent prices for purples, the prices for purples has gone up. It's actually gone up quite a bit in fact. So if you actually take a look, see at some of these parts right here. You know, you get the uh, Spectre, Equalizer, Thunderbolt, the Whirlwind, the Executioner, the Fat Man, the Impulse, the Cricket, the Pyre, the Dubza, the Lancet. These things, the Anaconda and the Owl, are going to be like, the only things that are worth little. The Fuse may be getting up there, but pretty much everything in here, everything in here right now, is worth close to, you know, say 400 bucks right now. I mean, let's, let's just go through this. Besides going through all the paints and the CK parts, of course those are going to be stupidly high. You can't really trust those, and those aren't even in the box. But anyway, once we start actually getting to our territory here, let's take a look here. I mean, look at that. The ore right now is $419. Fuck yeah. But look at this. Uh, the Druzva. I don't even know how to pronounce that. But that's 411 right now. And that's one of the higher ones. The Cheetah, 406. Let's see what else do we hear. Gas generator, 403. Hermes, 400. I mean, the Lancelot is 397. That charge rating here, 396. I mean, everything in here, everything in here is worth more. I don't think you could even remotely get a bad pull from this thing. Like I said, the only thing that you would get from this uh, crate that would actually put you in the red is if you manage to pull an owl or god really everything in here is worth more like if you pull it out see, see the fat man's not worth it the owl's not worth it and what else is in here that's pretty much it the anaconda is also not worth it either but i mean it's almost worth it to open it and see if you get one of those 400 dollars items because that means you would still get you would still get a 50 coin profit of course, that also entirely depends whether or not you actually get that pull. So I'm actually debating whether or not to open that. That's been, like, on my mind. But also, we might as well go ahead and sell this, since we made this specifically to be sold. To be sold. What am I saying? English. 
There we go. I'm just making parts right now. Just using the plastic I have left over from the days I farmed it all for 13 coins of profit. I mean, the thing is, with the cheap plastic I have, plus all the other parts, you can actually get a crap load of money just by making those parts. Although right now, we need to get a little bit more... Let's see. I want to make another spark. I actually want to make two more sparks. The issue is, is that right now, they're a little bit expensive to make. Well, actually, I don't know. The quasars are actually going down in price. Right now, all of these are the cheapest prices they can be. But it's still absurdly expensive to get this. You still need 750 electronics and then 750 batteries. Which, the batteries are not cheap themselves. You only get like four or five per win. So, effectively, the amount of crap you need to actually grind to get this is... It's, it's still up there. It's still up there. I don't know. I'm just trying to make purples right now to actually sell them and flip them around. Especially considering they're all starting to rise in price. Every single one's starting to rise in price. So make some purples, make some blues, and you can actually start making some decent coin. The issue is now is that, for some reason, scrap is actually going up in price. To the point where it's actually getting, like, worryingly high. Need the Apollo engine? I do need that Apollo engine. The issue is, is that I'm a level 11, and I still have another... Uh, we'll just round that to 40,000 experience, which is roughly about... That's 40 good, uh, 40 good missions, so let's double that and say about 80 missions in total before I get to that part. That, or if I actually had the scanner, I would get there a lot quicker, but the issue is, is that I'm not paying $10 for a scanner. Like, if they had a scanner for, like, 2 bucks, I would do it. 2 bucks a month, constantly refresh it, hell yeah, I would do it. Most certainly, right now I'm just doing seasonals, why not? The seasonals are a great way to get money. I mean, this thing right here alone, you'll get about 100 coins worth of, we you know, wires. Which alone I'll use for a crap load of purples. Uh, what else did I need to put in? I think I needed to put in one of these Ava boosters. Because we actually need those. And we'll go ahead and just try to use those instead. What the hell did I just do? So we'll just put those on there because that's all we need. Because now we're back at 25%. And what I actually did find out is they can actually throw these stickers onto your little weapons right here and actually make them a sort of CK variant. Holy shit, what the hell are you all doing here? <laughs> I'm now sweating. No, I'm good. There we go, that should be it. I think that would be good enough. We would try to use the actual bulldog for this, since he would actually give us a little bit more... Uh, damage for everything, but eh, eh, fuck it. I will say, before you guys call me a cancerous build, at least I'm not using a harvester. The harvester is what makes the ramming combination right now absolutely spectacular. I mean, every single game I go into around the 5k range, it's two or three harvesters every round. It's absolutely asinine trying to compete against them. And because they're actually so popular right now, let me see what the... Yeah, I mean, look at this. The price of these harvesters is going so high. You have to remember, this price of a legendary right now is $400 higher than what every other legendary is right now. Like, let's take a look at this. The harvester is at 2.9, and the hurricane is 2.6. Okay, let's take a look through here. Of course, the Aspect and Cyclone are going to be the highest. But look at that. The thing is, these is stupidly high compared to everything else. Artificially so. I don't even know who the hell's using the fortune, because that thing is terrible. Terrible. I think the one where you just throw the gasoline in little canisters is better than that. Okay, well, bye. <laughs> 7k versus 5.2. Okay. Okay. This seems fair. And it's strange because all the bots suck too. Alright. No one must be on right now. It must be on like the EU servers. No, we're on the US servers. Okay, that's a first. Why is this so shy? I want to get there and actually kill Isabella. But the issue is if I go on that bridge, I'm basically killing myself. Okay, okay. Try not to go across that thing. You're going to end up dying. Although James looks tasty. Ooh, good, Isabella. 
Come straight for- Oh, you asshole. That's like the only way for me to actually get points here. Ooh, goodness. Lord Fenturi is coming after. Okay, so is he an- is he appears to be an impulse build. So is he like radiators plus ammo packs then? Alright, that could explain his high power score then. Hmm. Let's try not to overly push this. The thing is, right now, this guy should be killing himself because he's throwing grenades right in front of his face. Interesting. He didn't damage himself. The thing is, usually, it's like death sentence to get in melee range of an impulse. Because the thing is, once you start firing those impulses so close to your cabin, you'll start damaging yourself. You know, pretty quickly, it's like firing grenades within hand distance. And yet, for some reason, he did not get damaged by it. Curious, did they lower the, like, explosion radius of those? Now to keep that in mind. There we go, now he's finally disarmed. fan f -intastic. Oh, goodness, that post about the increase in raids is still going on. Hell yeah. The thing is, posts like that always tend to get, I don't want to say censored by the mods, but they always end up just getting claimed being toxic and then taken down two seconds later. Holy shit, do these people not know how to get rid of a mine layer? <laughs> Look, I understand it's a different, it's a new tactic that no one's used to, but even then, even then, it doesn't take that much. Fuck yeah. This is 10 points. I feel absolutely useful. The thing is, that doesn't even count towards my missions. <laughs> uh, did PC have a 4 gigabyte update today? Uh, I didn't notice any update. And there hasn't been any news about it. Uh, the most recent update was the... I think it was, what, 4.9... Oh, no, it was 9.75. It was 9.75. And that update was just changing, like... You know, it basically gave you a scanner... Some stickers, and that's it. Well, then they balanced Spike again. For all good, that will do. Spike's already dead. We're just beating a dead horse at this point. Oh, yeah, I forgot to hop in Discord. I always keep forgetting to do that. Although, I think Discord's actually starting to actually get messed up right now. Input device, the MIDI, and the output. There you go. Okay, yeah, it's still not working. Whatever. That's fine. Oh, goodness. I think I might have to change this build to get rid of the two saws, because I think having two melee weapons is kind of redundant. I think just putting on a, a machine gun would almost be better. So we get updates late, but I haven't heard about any updates. Well, I mean, there's that only small update that gave you the chance to get the stickers after 30 wins. As well as the... Oh, what else was there? I mean, have you guys gotten the update around the batteries and plastic? I'm more than certain you guys have gotten that. Otherwise, that would be absurd. But no, there hasn't been any updates planned for a hot second. I know right now, I mean, the only news that we've gotten is that they're trying to... You know, update the... Rotation for clan wars so that it's not about leviathans. Because apparently people are complaining about that again. I don't mind leviathan battles. The thing is, this still won't matter to me because I can't get up there. My highest power score build. Ooh, okay. Oh, good. You just killed yourself. Dun dun dun. The thing is, the worst thing you can do is jump off a cliff backwards, because you're- Ooh, shit! There was the back of my vehicle. Keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. Alright, let's help this guy out. Ooh, okay. We're limping right now, we're limping. Oh god, that's why we need to get like a Bigfoot tire, something more sturdy. I'm thinking about putting half tracks on here. Yeah, we got the plastic update a bit ago. Okay, so yeah, you guys should be okay then. Uh, you guy anything on this game? What do you mean? 
I don't get what you mean there, sir. English is my first. Okay, we're still living along. Fantastic. The thing is, I thought the executioner was going to do a hell of a amount of damage to me. You buy anything on this game? Well, the thing is, I did purchase... What was it called? The Born to Fly uh, Born to Fly pack? That was in the closed beta. That was that, you know, little pack that had the whirlwind. But that was just so I can get into the closed beta, like, two years ago. Since then, I haven't bought a single thing in this game. I mean, I've thought about purchasing the scanner just to support the game, because this game right now is running on a free-to-play model, which is not nearly as lucrative as you think it is. And I want to support this game, but at the same time, it's like, I'm a cheap bastard. <laughs> like, if you gave me a cheap subscription service, like what YouTube Red is, or uh, Twitch was a Turbo, something like that. Like, if you gave me that option, I would do it that way. But, like, when you start asking 10 bucks a month, eh, nah, I'd rather just buy a pack. Whew, okay, Thunderbolt's got me. I'm dead. The thing is, I only had the Legendary because I had to waste a shitload of my money. There we go. The thing is, I just got this Legendary. I just got this thing. Like, I would say maybe a week ago I got this, and I haven't got anything since. I mean, I'm sitting right now on a bunch of plastic, and I could use that to purchase or to finance a new Legendary. But right now, crafting is just in a weird ass place like it's expensive and the prices really haven't caught up so i mean you could still try to make it by you know producing certain parts but even then it's just meh you're gonna start losing wheels if you don't start laying down traps okay you're dead The thing is, if your turrets are not in the right position, you can always just destroy them. Oh, goodness. Although, to be fair, I probably could have had a legendary much earlier on if I wasn't wasting all of my money on things like Goliath tracks, Icebox cabins, the bear cabin, which cost, like, what, 500 bucks when I first bought it? I mean, there's a lot of stuff I could have done. Then I have a bunch of tracks as well that I don't know I need. I like Reputation 17 or something. I still don't have a Legendary. Well, it just depends whether or not you commit to it. Because that's what it requires. It just requires an absurd amount of commitment. Because you have to remember, you have to put in 5 epic parts plus 1,000 electronics. Or rather, 750 electronics plus 750 batteries plus... Uh, what? You have to purchase a workbench, which at minimum costs, what, 500 coins? So, I mean, just stack all it up, you're spending, you know, two or three grand just to make a single legendary. Hey, thanks for the follow, mate. I can't read it because it's too small on my screen, but one second, let me pull it up. Hey, thanks for the scatterline. Here, let me show you, though. Uh, bear? I'm not sure. Let me take a look at the bear. I haven't seen that in a hot second. It used to be worth more than everyone bought it in mass. Yeah, it's worth 200 right now. Everyone bought it in mass and then started selling it since the, um, what was that based off of? It was some stupid pack. Yeah, it looks like the bear went down on price. Oh, well, you lose a little, you win a little. The thing is, I bought the Goliath tracks for 900 and they're worth 1140 now. And a lot of my other purples have gone up in price, when it, and I made them a lot cheaper. But I also have this stockpile of plastic I maintained uh, through the crackening, a new patch. And this thing right now is worth like $1,000. I mean, I could sell this for a fat stack of cash if I wanted to. But I'm actually going to be using it to make purples, which then I can flip around for even more profit. Uh, I think a blue on PC right now is worth between 32 to 40 bucks. If you get one that's not made by the engineers, it's worth like 40 bucks. Like right now, let's take a look here. Steffenwolf's 
Yeah, the synthesis is still hovering around 38 bucks, which doesn't make sense because the price of scrap has gone up an extra coin and a half. Yeah, you have to remember, PC has a lot more players on it, so money circulates a lot more. That, and it just sounds like uh, coins are inflated on Xbox. It just sounds like there's a lot more people buying stuff on Xbox, which is why your coin is worth a much less. That's what it has to be, because that's like the only thing I can see is being reasonable. Ooh, stop giving me emails. All right, I'm putting my phone over there. Yeah, the prices on Xbox, I don't get. Like, I'm not sure how they get so high. I'm thinking it's because maybe people on Xbox and consoles are much more willing to buy packs than people on PC. Because people on PC are frugal as shit. Alright, you know, this seems sketchy. I'm going to go with them. The thing is, if I go alone, ooh, yep, Goliath track is going to find me. You know, it sounds like, though, everyone's going to be waiting here, so I could probably just wait it out for the Goliath track to come here. Ah, oh, yeah, there he is. Oh, good. You went with the guy with the spark cannon. Oh, and he put his Avengers on the outside of his car. Bad idea. The thing is, large HP cannons like that, you don't really want to be doing that. Put those on the inside of the Goliath tracks, and those things will never get shot off. Holy shit, there he is. Ah, oh, God, I hate people like that. I've been the victim of Lancelots too many times. Do you even have any weapons left? No, you don't. Alright, let's just help our team over here real quickly. Oh, thank God that I actually managed to kill him. Just keep that up. Keep that up. Keep that taser up. Because the thing is right now is that it makes him really slow and it makes his reload time stupidly high. Especially with that tsunami. The thing is right now is I don't have a charged radiator on. All I have is a weapon cooler. So this, like, my reload times are absolutely high right now. Just keep moving, keep moving. Ooh, shit. Oh, fucking junk towels. There we go. Okay, thank fuck. And now we need to get rid of him. Activate the Ava booster. I'm just trying to circle around these guys right now. We just need to kill him. And this guy has to be running out of ammo soon. Come on. Woo! Biff it. I can barely turn now because I'm missing my back wheels. And my car is just dragging ass on the ground. Shit. We're just waiting for him to run out of ammo and then I can melee him. Oh yeah, I was going to say buying packs on Xbox is probably a waste of money. The issue is, is I think there's just a lot more people willing to do it. Ah, oh, good. I can use this. Shit. Come on. Movie fatty. Hey, I'm doing good. How about you, man? How about you? Now, let's say right now I can't do anything to him. Because I can't aim my vehicle at all. And he's just slowly shifting away. Hey, thanks for the host, brother. I think the notification should be at very soon, so give it a second. No, you bastard. Fuck. <laughs> I tried my best. He must have a shitload of ammo packs on him. Ooh, how did my team even lose? I mean, we all did fairly well. Yeah, I mean, I guess these guys held us back a little bit. The brass. You can't outwit the tsunami, especially when he manages to take off your spark. You know, I was actually surprised. Usually those Jucktow guys, those guys with those huge shotguns, usually one-shot my spark off. Since the spark only has, like, what, 490 HP? It's not that high. It's not that high. Ooh, okay, this looks more balanced. I swear I see this guy every single game. fan f fantastic. Alright, alright. So I think we'll be okay here. 
Yeah, but the thing is, I, I understand, like, the packs might be useless on Xbox, considering that you can maybe use the pack to buy one thing, and then you'll basically be out of cash. But the thing is, is that maybe due to the fact that there is, I don't know, easier time to use money on such a platform, yeah, it could explain the hyperinflation of coins. I know when uh, PC first came out, the price of coins was stupidly high. And that could be one of the reasons. Oh, no, 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 no. Alyssa, stop your shit. I can barely turn now. Thank you. Just keep trying, keep trying. No, 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 no. Don't fire, don't fire. Holy shit. Alright, yep, he took my gun off, so I have to commit suicide. To commit Sudoku. Yes! I actually got somebody there. A scorpion's like 70k. <laughs> Holy shit! Really? 70k? How the hell did it get that expensive? I love this guy's design, though. He's like a spaceship. Looks like a flat piece of toast. I don't know, you probably, you're, or there are some people who are willing to purchase enough coin packs to get a relic. They're called whales, and they exist. I mean, that's the whole reason why free-to-play models are even, like, marginally profitable, is because that's, that's how you get it. Ooh, shit, harvesters! You can never out with the harvesters! Yeah, yeah, you have to commit suicide. Nope. Let me take a look. I think Scorpion right now is not that far behind on PC because the thing is, Scorpion is stupidly popular for uh, people right now. Let's take a look here. Scorpion is 49,000. Holy shit, that is expensive. Versus everything else. I mean, the Porcupine is just gaining some type of popularity due to the uh, Kepkin that's uh, getting that extra bit of uh, exposure allowing the porcupine to be useful firebug still shit. Oh, you, you want to see the leviathan? All right. All right. All right So here we go. We had the leviathan of course. He's got no game still But the thing is this leviathan Is outfitted with three rapiers. I believe it's Two equalizers one vector one specter one cord and then the bulk of this firepower for this machine actually comes through Come on. Just put it on the ground through, I believe, five sidekicks? Five or six sidekicks. So, which gives it the majority of its power. We also have a couple of defenders right here at front, but those are mostly for cosmetics. And we have an equalizer in the back. You could have bought a PC with that money he bought with the weapons on PC. Well, let's see. Let me take... Let's take a look. How much would 40... What is it? 49,000 coins cost? We'll return it to 50,000. So if 75, let's take a uh, gander here, 7,500 divided by 100 coins, that's 75 coins per dollar, so at 40, or rather, let's just round it to 50,000, that'll make it easier, so 50,000 divided by 75, it would cost you, no, I accidentally clicked the times button, 50,000 divided by 75, it would cost you $666.67 to purchase a scorpion with just raw cash. $666. You legit... That's about as much as I paid for my first PC. Ever seen a spark plug? Uh, and, uh I've never seen that. It's the best Goliath half-track ever. I'm gonna have grenade launchers, plasma guns, junk shots, sidekicks, and maybe a couple of vectors. The vectors are definitely nice because they have a nice long distance. I just chose the rapiers because those things can shoot from halfway across the map, and those things are... Oh, they're beautiful. So let's actually go ahead and test drive this out. It's not as fast as I would like, but it's still decently fast. And the thing is, the range on it is still super nice. But then as soon as you get out... Oh, it also has a chameleon module as well. But yeah, it's... What is that? Yeah, it's four side... Five sidekicks. Oh, Sparkplug, the streamer! Yeah, 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 I follow him all the time. We actually have him on friends list on PC. Yeah, he has probably some crazy-ass Leviathan. I mean, that dude 
has invested some money into this game. Yeah, see, look at that. These things are not terribly the best, but they actually do add quite a bit of power. They have plenty of modules. You don't really need too many modules since, for the most part, uh, the Leviathan does not tend to actually max out or overheat the guns. Really, the best thing to do for something like this is to get it a nice, decent engine that can actually enhance its power. So I think for this one, I have... Uh, where is that going? I have the golden engine right here to get that extra 20% reload speed on those uh, sidekicks. So those actually can start popping out a lot more often. And they're protected by the Goliath half-tracks, so they should stay for the entire duration of the raid. Has 20 fuse sidekicks. He doesn't have a levy. Ah, goddamn. Well, the thing is, getting a bunch of fuse sidekicks won't take that much money. It's when you start fusing, like, fuse drones and things like that. Stuff that cost $400 per item. That's when it gets absurd. I know the guy has a couple of those... Uh, what is it called? It's not defenders, but they're called tacklers, if I remember correctly. Those tacklers right now, and he bought them when they were 500 apiece and fused them. And, like, right now they're worth 750 to 800 bucks apiece. Oh my god, they got more. They're worth 888 coins apiece. Holy shit. That is so much. I have to be honest, I think sidekicks are bad unless you're self-opposed to threats on your own, which then makes it excellent. Well, the thing is, the sidekicks are kind of nice because they provide a distraction. And the thing is, most builds in uh, hardcore Leviathan battles are either uh, crickets, grenade launchers, or... Something like that. Something that has a hard time pinpointing and easily destroying sidekicks. I'm still waiting for you to make a Goliath spider leg build. Wet Knight? Eh, no. That thing would be so slow to begin with. Although, I mean, goddamn, those legs tear the goddamn taposa. Mmm, delicious. Oh, the pack guns are so expensive on PC. They are. Which is why I actually kind of like that I bought the Goliath tracks when I did. Because they were roughly 980 when I bought them. So I'd actually, I could actually flip these right now and make a profit. But I don't really want to do that. Although I really need to sell this thing. Hell, if I get a follower, you know what, I'll open it. We'll call it YOLO and whatnot. Tackler on Xbox is 1300 <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's worth more than the entirety of the coins you get from that thing. I mean, you pay more than half the coins you earned from this thing. To get that tackler. That's stupid. That's stupid. The thing is though, they can do plenty of damage on their own. True, true. The sidekicks can do damage. Assuming the AI doesn't screw up and accidentally causes them to collide together or call instantly suicide. <laughs> Alright, you know, I'll open it then. It was a joke. Ooh. Spark and Harvester build with Chameleon Mark II module, I think. Oh no, it's just armor. Show us what the box is. <laughs> Alright, I'll show you right after here. The thing is, is that right now, you actually might be able to earn a profit opening those boxes since they're 350 right now, and the average price of epics is going up. So as long as the price of boxes stays the same, you could actually earn some coin op buying them and opening them, and then flipping it. I just like becoming a little... the hobs Okay, let's go up top. Because right now, this is shite. Excuse me, fatties. Extremely large vehicle coming in. No, no, no. No hurricanes. Up top, up top, up top, up top. Because looks like no one's guarding up top. Da -da 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 -da. Oh, hell yeah, no one's up here. Alright, so one second, I'll read chat as soon as this is done. We gotta hyper focus here, we gotta be diligent. Come on, Ava Booster, give me some speed. The thing is, I have so much traction with six of these tires that Ava Boosters, all they do is make my vehicle lean slightly forward. Get over here, little bitch. I'm too fat to chase. I haven't fired a single shot into somebody yet. How do we both flip sides? Okay, okay. 
The hurricane launcher guy is going to be okay. Hey, thank you for staying right there on top of us. Oh, good. You want to get in melee range. I love that. Right. Hurricane launcher. Cute. I don't understand why they keep aiming for me. You realize that thing's going to do zero damage to me. Fuck, I have to get to the base. Oh, perfect. I love drones. They do absolutely nothing to me. Fantastic. All right, let's fight. Oh, and you have a cord there. All you gotta do is 400 damage. That's easy peasy. Buh bye bye <laughs> Thing effing vanished. Ugh, come on. Move. The thing is, I need to get, like, an oppressor engine or something on here. Something that can move. No, 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 no. Don't get, don't get close. There you go. Alright, so what happened here? I actually one time got a puppeteer three badge due to it. Eh, it's not bad. The thing is, sidekicks used to be like the go-to for easy seal clubbing since they had such a low power score and were so good in low power score games due to their like what they have like 200 HP prior, so it was impossible to kill those things. One sidekick at the time. They are pretty good for kill stealing. Just imagine, though, with those old builds that used to have, like, four or five sidekicks. Those were terrible days. Alright, since you are being so nice, we'll go ahead and open up the Pathfinder crate. Let's see what we get. Cross your goddamn cheeks, boys. We better get good. Please don't be an L. Please don't be an L. Please don't be an L. Woo! Okay. That's not too bad. That's not too bad. We actually earned a profit doing that. We earned... That crate was originally worth... Um, I'm trying to remember off the top of my head. It was originally worth 350 We bumped it up to 380 now. Except it's actually be worth more if the dumbass who had this build... Uh, didn't accidentally decrease the value of this thing by 10 coins. What are you doing? I'm putting it up there. Because I'm just going to wait for that thing to sell, and then we'll earn a 10-coin profit from that. Uh, you know something I love? Uh, I'm going to have to leave for a bit. I'm going to play Siege until Crossout updates. I didn't hear the game. All right, it's all good, mate. I know Siege is all about that tactile hearing. You know something I love doing when the chips are down is basically getting really close to an enemy using two or three of my explosives to do heavy sacrifice damage. That is absolutely beautiful to do, especially once you start getting that improved suicide damage. But even if you had that werewolf cabin that gets you that little drone that comes off as soon as you die, that's like double suicide right there, and that, that does a stupid amount of damage. Alright, so we're actually going to earn profit from that, so that's not bad. Although, ooh, our aura celled. Oh, fuck yeah, dudes. We're back up to 800 coins. Nice. That's a lot of money. Oh, dude, once you get to low power score games, like around my range, so 4,000 to 5,000, the thing is, is that the builds are so small, is that the oil barrels or the generators that you find will often explode with you, especially if you have that 5% increased radius, or if they have a small growl build. You'll get some extra heavy suicide damage on there. You'll definitely at least disarm them, unless they have a goliath track. If they have a goliath track and properly turn away from you, then you'll actually do zero damage to them. But most people in goliath have tracks don't know how to do that. I don't know why they don't do it, but they don't. Hey, welcome back, Kerbal. Hey, and for those of you who don't know, we're currently on YouTube, Twitch, and Mixer. So if you see other chats appear from other places, that's probably why. But we also do have an RPG system in Twitch as well. So have fun with that. Although I actually need to do a couple of the commands because I haven't done anything today. Daily mystery. A. We might as well do all of this. Mind if I join you? Feel free. Just add me on PC. It's Pandaleus. That's around, I'm around the 5.2, 5.3 range, so feel free to hop on there. 
If you feel a little higher build, that's fine. I often get into games with 6,000 power score. Ooh, okay, this looks bad. Half our team split off. This might be a little bit bad here. It might be a little bit screwed here. If we can capture the base prior to doing everything, we might be okay. Okay, good. It looks like their team fractured a little bit as well. Ava Booster for the win! Oh, god damn it. Yeah, and those junk towels are ripping me apart. <laughs> Rip. I'm also streaming on Camp Soda too. Although I'm pretty sure if I keep saying that, Twitch will ban me. Because Twitch has been getting like super, super finicky about uh, their image. And with regards to, you know, uh, tit streamers and whatnot. So, <laughs> the more I keep saying that, the more I, I know they're going to terminate my account at some point. Now you're being a naughty boy there. You're not going to get anything from us. Hey, what's up, Gaming Less Daddy? How you doing? Oh, oh, I absolutely hate this map. The thing is, unless you're a rapier build, this map is going to be the bane of your existence. Like, I understand why they changed the map, but at the same time, this is such a camping map now. Ooh, good, the bot's already out. Get over here, you precious little meat. Although right now they're heading straight for Claudia. Ooh, though, it looks like William and George are all by themselves. Okay, good. Let's get rid of all of them. Whoo! That's a freaking... What was that? That guy just, like, pinned himself up. Yeah, I feel bad for people who have those drones now, because I just peel right through them. Hey, alright. Now Drifter. Alright, never mind. He's dead. Ooh, got him. It's okay. Who else is here? Because I can't see shenanigans. Ooh, okay, he's up there. Okay, okay, okay. Let's go behind him. You won't be able to see us from here. The thing is, my build would benefit greatly from a chameleon module, but I'm way too cheap for that. No, 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 no. None of that. Does he have a bull cabin? Ooh, no, he doesn't. He just has a growl with a couple of engines. I actually did see a build where it was just a pure a growl cabin with an asinine amount. Where the hell did my wheel go? With an asinine amount of, uh, was it Hermes boosters or the rocket things? So basically, it was just the cabin that could ram something, plus a bunch of boosters, and it was one-shotting people. Like, legitimately, if you could hit somebody with the cabin going that fast, you would one-shot somebody. Hey, not bad. Number one. Hmm. Not the bad. It's been a while for me and Cross. It was assessed for the longest time. Has it changed anything with the buzz saws? Uh, the buzz saws, not that I imagine. I mean, there's a couple of them. I mean, there's the saw blade, the dubs and the harvester. Those are all still fairly common. Dubs saws are not very, you know, used very much. But, I mean, they gave it, like, a passive damage increase the longer you have it connected with somebody. So, that kind of works. But they gave something similar to the harvester as well. I'll have to double check on them. But yeah, they've done a lot of things. It'd be kind of hard for me to really go over it in a hot second. Added plastic wires, added a bunch of new raids. Added multiple new unique weapons and packs. That really I couldn't go over in great detail. And they added the new fire starters and dawn children's factions. I'm not sure actually how long you've been away. Alrighty, alrighty, I'll pick you up after this game then. We'll see how well this works. Right now, it looks like there's a hurricane build all the way in the back. So I should actually be able to go there and T-pose on him. Ooh, although right now, he's getting swarmed. Yeah, he's running. He knows what's up. We actually may just have to capture the base, because the thing is, I'm not fast enough to catch up to them. So screw it. Let's just capture the base. And it looks like we'll have to, because otherwise we'll get out captured. Uh, that's fine. I'll stay right here for a hot second. Just hopefully our allies can either get to the base fast enough before they capture it. I mean, we have a group of three of them and a fourth one ready to join them. 
So as long as they can sacrifice themselves for the greater cause. Yeah, you go ahead and help them. I'm not sure if you'll be able to get there in time. Yeah, come on, get in the point. Oh, perfect, okay. So it'll be okay. Oh no, someone flipped over. Oh, okay, I'm not sure how well this is going to work out then. And that one guy got stuck, and they're all dying. Alright, fantastic news. I haven't even fired a single shot yet. And the other guy died from being on his back. It's only been about a month or two. I'm a huge buzzsaw user. And all my builds, my main weapons are buzzsaws. Hey, it's not that bad of a weapon, especially considering you can easily wedge yourself underneath there with the oil cabins. Hey. Alright, so it's good that I'm not MVP with uh, the, the capturing. I actually wonder if they're going to change this map up, since the thing is a lot of the games on this just end up going straight to the sides. Ooh, sweet. Nice, so the thing can't get rid of that. Yep, win seven battles, completed in normal raids. Hmm. There we go. So let's see, we could do raids though. I kind of need those right now, actually. Let's see, how much fuel do I have left? Oh yeah, we have, we have plenty of fuel. We have plenty of fuel. Let's see, how's that improved cooler going? Oh my god, someone undercut him. By over a coin, two coins. See, these people right here, these people have collectively devalued the improved cooler by over 12 coins. Which, in any market, is absurdly high. Like, you could have reduced the profit margins for you two by two, co uh, two cents. And you guys would have been fine. Uh, my setups are mostly wedge builds. Yeah. Okay, that's not bad. I don't I don't know if wedging is still a popular thing. I've seen it on a couple of builds, but I know they're always very unpopular since they always get hooked into the ground. Alright, so I'll invite you to the group. We'll see if that works. I don't know, how do you feel about doing some PvE? I'll we'll mostly be doing hard raids so around the 8k range, 7k range, if you can get up there. It's not too hard. There we go. Hmm. I think it'll be okay. Yeah, PV? Alright, fantastic. Because I just want to get this seasonal done right now. And yeah, we only have 100 wires, too. I definitely do want to be able to make another one of those uh, purple parts. Well, let's take a look. Yeah, everything's starting to stabilize around 420, roughly around there. Yeah, 417, 414. Hmm. We could do that. The thing is right now is that all these prices for these parts are starting to go up. So it's actually becoming much, much, much less lucrative to do any of this. I actually kind of want to do the scrap one next. Alright, so... Gone in two minutes or the War for Fire. Let's do Gone in two minutes. And it's Scavenger, so we'll be able to do that. And I think I have the proper build for this. You just need a radio, right? Radars, okay. I think we got that. Yeah, that's good. That's actually kind of nice, the radars and now like zero energy cost. Wait, what the hell? Why did that not go? There we go. One second. The thing is, is strangely enough, with this truck design, trucks for some reason don't actually... I think I'm underleveled. What level are you? Uh, I mean, you have enough power score. You should have enough fuel. All you need is 60 fuel. For some reason, I cannot view your profile. I mean, what level are you? Ooh, 14. Okay. Huh. Curious. Okay. Um, we can just do normal raids then. Why not? Let's do perimeter breach. That one you should be able to join because I think that one's only like a level ten requirement, if I'm not mistaking. Invasion? No, <laughs> I do not do invasion. That doesn't count towards seasonal. I used to do invasion, but the thing is though is that like. 
the rate at which I win invasions is so minimal. <laughs> like, I win one invasion out of five, and I just get absolutely ass blasted. It wouldn't be that bad. Although, a lot more people have been using cricket builds, so winning invasions has actually not been that hard. It's not been that bad. I think we'll be okay. The only thing I worried about the scavengers is that they'll disarm me. Oh, and those mandrakes. I absolutely hate those things. They do so much damage. I think it's a single one of those mandrakes can completely one-shot me. Especially if they actually manage to hit my fuel canister. I think we'll be okay, though. Oh, strangely, it seems like nobody wants to do perimeter breach for plastic. I feel like plastic would be, like, basically goal right now. I have a limited ammo, but it's increased. Well, you don't have to worry about that, because the thing is, is that uh, raids like this drop ammo, from what I understand. So you should be perfectly fine. As well as just making sure you don't get uh, canned. Alright, so stand over there against the wall. I'll be right here. I just do this so I can actually get the spark to work. I think it's a lot of these perimeter breaches that you don't want to go all the way... Uh, forward like that. Don't go forward, don't go forward, otherwise you'll get swarmed. Yeah, there you go. Just stand back and fire from a distance. Ooh, no, 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 no. No ramming. I love that for the spark, just for anti-ramming compatibility. Why are you running a fuel tank in raids? I'm not running a fuel tank. I have a gas generator. The thing gives you three energy. It's underneath my cabin right now. It's protected by all this junk on top of it. Now I don't run fuel tanks and raids. I mean, the only time people run fuel tanks and raids is that when they have a PvP vehicle and they don't want to change the design of it. That or they're trying to artificially increase their power score. Ooh, okay. No, 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 no. Man, Drake. Just need to disarm him real quickly. But at least a spark will prevent him from doing a lot of stuff for a hot second. There you go. Oh, I got enough. If I was running a fuel tank, my vehicle would get one shot. I have nowhere to put it, so I just put it on the side of my cab and just wait to die. Yeah, it's gonna be a little pussies. Very nice. So they just come out like one by one, a nice little tray for us. Delicious of the morsels. I don't, I don't, I don't, actually, wait, 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 what am I doing? Those are mandrakes coming in. I just love how that guy in the package is still firing those little rockets at us. Like, I feel like the AI for the pyre launchers is designed to be as annoying as possible. Since the rockets never hit us, but the guy just keeps on running. Because right now, usually the pyre launcher guy gets stuck right here at the door. Since the nav uh, nav mesh for this, for some reason, does not recognize the door as being there. So it always just tries to plow through it. It's still going. See, the thing is, I don't understand why they have the these mandrakes on this map. Since the thing is, these mandrakes are on hard mode, and these things nearly one-shot us. No, 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 no firing. Look at that, 1,200 damage, I'll take that. Designed to hull. This actually kind of reminds me of my old uh, convoy carrier builds. When convoy raids were a thing, you can just sit there and haul the thing on your back. Here we go. Oh, come on, aim up a little bit. Thank you. It's not too bad, I got this. The thing is, these things do zero damage to me. Ah, no rockets. I actually did see some guy on here with a build where it was like three or four sparks. Yeah, the carrier carrier. God, no. That we actually never got working. I wish we actually got the convoy carrier or carrier working. It's just the thing is, I had nobody to test it with. So, like, nobody just wanted to sit there. It's like, hmm, does anyone want to try to haul a, a convoy 
while someone else is hauling you. So to get a like a three layer sandwich of fuckery. But the thing is, is that it could have worked if you had a light enough vehicle. I have still have no idea where that pyre launcher guy is. And it probably would have helped if we didn't use spider legs. Ooh, no, 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 stop that. What I actually really like to get is the actual Draco at some point. Like, Draco and Sparks has to be the worst combo, but probably the best at the same time, too. Because I've been Draco's being a lot of flack for being an absolutely terrible gun. But I could say it actually being somewhat useful, and definitely in PvP. Like, you ram somebody with a melee weapon, have a Draco in there. That would be somebody who's doing it with, like, dual harvesters. Hey, look, the cruel's back, but right now I can't fight it. Okay. Uh, fight. I think I have a thousand tickets left for fight. Let's go ahead and try it. Let's see how it works. Nice, nice. Okay. I don't have to worry about the pyre launcher guy. The thing is, if you actually want to get more plastic and more electronics through these raids, on Perimeter Reach especially, if you actually fight the reinforcements as well as the guys that spawn over here, or over here, you actually get a decent amount of more co uh, chances of getting coin, since those guys are still worth the full value. And uh, no fuel barrels. Those are still worth the full value, you know, still worth like three or four points per elimination. So you can actually get up there to the 10 electronics range. Or I'm not sure how many you know, plastic that is. We can actually get a nice amount of coin from it. Let's go ahead and take all this out. Because I'm worried about all of these rockets in here. Because just look how many there are. Five or six of these baddies just right in a single room. Hey, I don't mind. I don't need them. I don't need armor anyway. Who gives a shit? Let's go ahead and take that out. He's already got that. How often do I stream cross out? I try to stream it every weekday. Although, uh, Friday is a little bit more sketchy. And the weekends, I haven't been able to stream yet since... Uh, pretty much every weekend, I'm away. <laughs> on some weird-ass trip, so... I know, every weekday, I've been streaming pretty consistently. Uh, you can check my archive on Twitch to see a more consistent schedule. But it also just really depends on motivation, or if not, I'm, like, having some type of ailment. Because, like, yesterday I could have streamed, but I was just absolutely... I could not do it. I would have been pissy the entire time. I basically would have been either a type of Greek or some type of rage streamer. Yeah, you know, it's, you can go away. I don't understand how the AI manages to get caught on the gate every single time. <clears throat> okay, we'll be good. No, 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 no. Ooh, there you are. You finally managed to caught up with us. You little beauty. beauty. No, 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 don't run away. Finally, I hate that effing thing. It's like a little fly. I need something to watch while I'm at work during the week. Hey, by all means. I try to stream around noon, but sometimes I tend to stream later on at night. It just depends on... Eh, let's just go ahead and stay here. This is the safest way to win Perimeter Breach, is that you just sit here and squat. You can try to do these two, you know, little missions over there. The issue is, is that that tends to happen. The Mandrake tends to come out. And then you just die. Let's just back up. I'll take that off with our hands. Back up, back up. Let's just not fight the Mandrake. Because I already crippled him and he's going to die. Yeah, and he's just pushing him into the death box. Okay, okay. See, all I gotta do is just squat right here and wait for them to come out. Because then they'll all come out right there. Alright, if you want to do that, we'll do it. We'll see how well it works. I'm just worried about the Mandrake one-shotting us. Alright, let's try it. I'm not too keen on this. 
Yeah, I'm not too worried about the pyre launcher, guys. As long as that thing doesn't manage to run away too far, we'll be okay. Although, for some reason, these guys take an absolute age and a half to get here. Ooh, okay, he's already here. And it's just slowly trickling one by one. Get a couple of the grunts, and then you get two of the peace officers. Although it sounds like the peace officer is behind this wall. Ooh, not him. Other peace officer. There you go. Jesus, Wet Knight, I'm gonna beat you with a stick. How do you? Every time, the last three times we faced Cruel, you've managed to actually get the winning runs. The crown of power plus four, that has to be absurdly good. Here we go ahead and take that off. 1200 HP. There you go. At least it's not like the War of Fire with the Scavengers. The War of Fire with them is absolutely insane trying to actually win it. So the thing is, as soon as they spawn in, they can pretty much shoot the objective from their spawn. Or they can shoot you. Either way, you're end up going to get one shot in the crossfire. The thing is, it's... Ooh, never mind, it's him! Back the fuck up. The thing is, if this thing starts firing oil barrels at us, we're screwed. Whoo! Right on top of me. How the hell did you manage that? You won the last five to six cruels? How? I mean, the last one I've won was when it was first a thing. Like, is it just like an influencer debuff they give you so that you can't win everything? Hell, I'm even the Titan boss, or sorry, the Bit boss right now. Yeah, let's go ahead and take off your health. Alright, so we might be kind of screwed here. I still have 700 HP left, but the thing is, is that... Eh, I don't know, we might be okay. We still have our weapons cooler, but we don't have our radiator. And I'm not sure why we don't have a radiator. Let's just disarm right now. If I could disarm it all. There we go. Slowly moving there. Moving. Naughty no despacito. Not until the second one comes out. Ooh, crap. There goes my gun. All right. Time to Sudoku. Oh god, yep. Right underneath it. 2,000, 4,000 damage. The entirety of that thing's health. It's still absurd to me that you can actually ram a Leviathan. Like, oh yeah, this thing weighs 21 metric tons. I can just sneak my little, you know, jalopy right underneath that thing. That totally makes sense. I'm not going to get crushed to living death. Well, if it had any physics remotely similar to that, I know spider legs would come back in full force. There you go. I think we're okay. A not bad. You just had to blow everything up. Nice. Okay. Only eight plastic. How much plastic do you get for win? That's nothing. Okay, okay. So actually, wait, let me calculate this out right now, because right now it is... Let's see, 490 per fuel, so... Let's get the candy dandy calculator out here. So if it's 490 per 100, it's roughly about 4, four 5 cents per fuel. So then for 40 of that... Times that by point zero four nine, it costs roughly two bucks per raid. So then for eight plastic, eight plastic has to beat out one nine six right now. So two one point five zero divided by one hundred. That equals point two, and say we get that eight. It is currently not profitable. It is currently not profitable to actually farm plastic. 
Wow, that's a first. Ah, oh, if we could do hard raids then. Yeah, the thing is, it's 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 just legitimately not profitable right now to actually do this. Oh uh, well, the thing is, I can't really do a whole bunch with you, so let's just go ahead and do this. Back to PvP. We might as well do it this way. Although I actually need to fix this real quickly, because that thing does not need to be there. And then just throw the accessory back on top. Are they actually you know what? Let's just throw on. Let's put that Ava cover back on the canvas tent. Where did that go? Canvas roof. Here we go. And let's just throw in cheap parts right here. The thing is, I don't want to put too much on here. Hmm. Ah, screw it. Uh, back to PvP. Back to PvP. PvE right now is not currently profitable. Alright, so hopefully that works. The thing is, though, with his build at 7k... 8k, actually. I'm in places that are really high matches. Yikes. Hopefully he can do good. That or you can just throw off your fuel barrels and call it good. That would be nice. AK is a little high for me. The thing is, with AK, I could pretty much just throw in a tank. Call it good. I mean, the thing is, right now, I could use the team carrier. It would just not be good at all. I do like Yassi using the guns always Mark IV. This is actually a pretty nice vehicle. If you want to get an easy be uh, vehicle for seal clubbing, two Goliath tracks mixed with anything, and you're pretty much guaranteed to win. There we go. 6k that I can work with. I can work with that. If any of you want to join as well, feel free to hop on. You just got to add me as Pandelius. Oh, the thing is, is that I don't think I'm actually joining the fight for Cruel, since I don't have enough pain to points, technically. Apparently, I was missing an extra 700 pain to points. The thing is, though, my fight's, like, at... Oh, my bow's at 4,000 right now. Ah, uh, I see. Okay, I think we'll be okay. Although, I actually need to put on an actual machine gun. Ooh, shit. For a second, it just looked like there was a huge-ass volley of grenades coming over the hill. Look at that. It's just two people firing rapiers at each other. I'm just going to wait for Dominic to come across the bridge. Come here, precious meat. And look, Leash is just there sitting with those freaking hurricane launchers. Nah, 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 nah. Come with us. I'm getting those cricket launchers to the side of my face. Jesus! The Communist Revolution has managed to come in. Alright, so I think we've done well this round. We've almost managed to kill somebody. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to need to put on a machine gun for this. Download this game on Xbox. Any tips for a noob? Well, the thing is, I would recommend you start getting, or starting to build early. So at first, it may tempt you to start building a lot with your scrap. Wow, he has the fasting reloading hurricane. This person bought three hurricanes and fused them. Yeah, uh, yeah, Trinity did change my loadout as well. But the thing is, when you're first starting off on this game, try to save up some money. Try to sell your scrap at first. So, I mean, your scrap right now, you could save up about 100 at a piece from just doing regular PvP raids. And then just sell those, and you'll actually be earning quite a bit of profit. Fly, my child. 
I'm surprised the build actually worked. It, it kind of worked. It kind of worked. It's like those old-fashioned uh, hover builds before they actually came into existence. It kind of worked. Alright, so I'm going to use a borer plus. We're going to need a machine gun of some sort. So the thing is, I could take off a radiator and put on a higher tier machine gun. Or I could just put on a cord. <laughs> I could just put on a cord. Hmm, hmm. Hey, thanks for the follow on Mixer. Yeah, I guess I could do that. Just put a cord on right there. Give something for my other car. Let's see, how many parts do we have left? We have enough for four more. Alright, then. So, let's go ahead and put that on there. Where or oh, where did that paint go? That's one. Whoops, wrong one. Let's paint everything there. Let's get rid of all the straps for that. It almost worked, though. If he just had a little bit more gusto, he could have made it. Alright, so then what else do I need? I think this should be it. Let's try to make sure that the fuel barrel, though, is still protected. Although, really, this build could use... Where is it at? It could use some of these wide slopes. Because right, these would protect it from catching on the ground. Since this, instead of it clicking onto the actual fuel barrel itself... It'll just hit this instead and fly up a little bit. It should help it from snagging on the ground as much. Oh, yes, and the sticker. Where did that go? Oh, wait, none of them are actually even on here. Here we go. Let's attach these bad boys on. And, you know, we'll go ahead and use the step wolves too. Alright, so I might need to go. Hey, it's all good, man. If you have to charge your laptop, by all means. That works. I'll see you next time, then, by any means. If you have any other questions, cats, it's... Feel free to ask. I think there's really kind of a lot of not a hard things to do when it comes to this game. It's just making sure that you get your fuel barrel and attaching that to your car for every PvP raid. That's going to be a huge bonus. Making sure you have that. And then getting the blue version of that. Because if you get that plus the scrap, your profit per hour will actually go up quite high. That and just making sure you have a nice vehicle. Don't try to over-armor yourself too. Because that's what a lot of people do with uh, previous or rather... I would say their first builds is tend to throw in a shitload of power. Uh, through armor. And the thing is, the more armor you attach, the more... Hey, thanks for that. Uh, the more armor you put on, the higher your power score is going to be, so you'll actually end up getting put into high-tier games. That's what I used to do early on, is that I used to have a bunch of shitty weapons, and then I would put on, like, 60, 70 pieces of armor for no reason. Oh, my God. Is everyone just crowding around the middle? What the hell is going on here? I was away for a second. All right, one second. Where did they go? Nah, 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 nah. Off with your car! That actually managed to work. Why is this working? Nah, 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 nah. Bye bye <laughs> They all just lined up perfectly for me. So that's why it kind of helps being a little bit more evasive. The thing is, though, I really need to get some type of radio or radar for this thing. The thing is, though, that any good radar is really bulky. Although I guess the cheap one I have could work. Hmm. Let's see, how much power score would that increase? I think it's like an extra 140 if you put that on. Let's take a look here. Where did that go? So we, we could kind of do it like that and just attach it to the back. We're back up to 505 now. 
Although I guess we could just add some more accessories to pad out our vehicle some more. Ah, oh, okay, so now we're completely full of parts. Okay, that's not bad. We'll take that. You need spider legs. The thing is, I would actually do that. I would make a ramming spider build. The thing is, though, is that you need... You absolutely need that step cabin. That one that costs like two grand right now. Otherwise, your actual potential of catching somebody is zero. Ooh, no, 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 no. Come on, Lissa. Let us consummate. Oh, beautiful. They actually took the bait. Nice, and all the bots are actually starting to just fly into the middle. Ooh, okay, yeah, all you stand right there. Yeah, 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 come on, let's just take off the back of that cabin. Okay, yeah, there's no way I'm going to live through this. So we need a Sudoku, we need a sacrifice. Damn it. Actually did work, because they were spent a lot of time on me. Damn, look at that thing, though. Five goblins. That is stupid. I need to really get into those. Because the thing is, goblins right now are only two energy apiece, and they still do a decent amount of damage. Yeah, of course, they have some light issues with, you know, firing angles. The thing is, though, get a radiator, get a cooler for those goblins, and you'll pump out that damage. Oh my god, he has five kills right now. Holy crap. Six kills with goblins. How do you do that well with those things? Uh, and he's just using those uh, meat grinders so he can have a very, like, a lot of space underneath his cabin just to shove all those underneath. I need to try to do a build with that. Like, Goliath tracks, goblins, all of that. That would probably be a little bit overpowered. Because that Goliath track, if you have two of those things on either side of the goblins, your goblins are not going to get fired off. The only thing you have to worry about is slow turning rate, but pff, who cares about that shit? I think it'll be okay. I guess what to go on here. Okay. Let's try this out. Hmm. It's strange. Why are we still getting paired with 4.5k people? Like, I feel like at that point, just fill it in with a bot. I mean, because right now we have four bots on our team. Yeah, three bots now. Sure, they basically cause you to lose a game if they do something stupid, but... Minor detail. It actually would be a good thing to do is just to actually harpoon one of the uh, bots onto your car. Yeah, that's kind of sketchy. Don't try to go in there. No, 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 no. Come with us, George. Hey, look at that. And somebody who actually has a reload. And he, how has my cord managed to stay on this entire time? Come on, flip over his car. Yes! Yes! Alright, you're staying with me there, little boy. Oh, I never give up. Even when you're down to your last little leg here. Okay. I got nothing left. I gotta go. Come on, move! I can't do anything. Christopher's coming after me. Ooh. Damn, that was nice. And the guy who got six kills last game has got barely anything that game. Who is it? Yakuzia? He only had one assist. Damn. The thing is, actually getting those meat grinders wouldn't be a bad thing. Nice. Nice. We actually were able to sell, uh, sell the improved cooler at its correct price. Dude, we have 1,000 coins again. 
God damn. You, you know what? I'm kind of tempted. I'm kind of tempted. How much are those little crates going for right now? You could get them for 340 bucks. <laughs> and the thing is, is that there's a good chance the item within that crate is going to be a higher price. I mean, how much profit did we just make from the stuff we just uh, had? Like, did we just make 340 bucks? Okay, so yeah, we sold it for 389, so at that point we're losing 38, and that takes us back down to 350. Ooh, okay. So we could do it. Ah, oh, we could do it. I just want to try it once to see if it'll actually work. Like, let's purchase a crate at 340 bucks. And then we'll open it and then try to sell it and see if we'll actually make a profit. I want to see if that'll actually work. Because the thing is, if that works at all, we could actually make a huge amount of money doing that. And Because the thing is, is that since it's not like the CK parts that require, you know, an hour of waiting just so that you can even get your money. This could actually be done in a relatively short time. Ooh, triple spike. I am not sure what the hell that guy is doing. Is he seriously going to the other team already? Dude, tell me about it. Everybody I've, that comes to me from their console, they're like, Wow, everything's so much cheaper and so much more reasonably priced compared to console. It's like, eh. Even then. Still expensive as hell. That and the prices are super unstable right now due to the increases or changes in plastic. All right, good. Now everyone's out. No, 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 no. You're coming with me there, beauty. Ooh, yes. Ooh, crap. There goes the side of my car. And look at that. He's got two Avenger cannons on right now. I'm not sure why he's not firing at me. I'm the one making his loading times a lot higher. Ooh, goddamn, that's gotta hurt. Ooh, okay, I didn't see you. Come on, yeah. I probably should be using that radar more often. I don't know, your towel is gonna be useless against me. Oh, damn it, you took it off, though. Nice, I even got the kill for that. That's beautiful. Okay. My killing spree had to come to an end. That's actually strange. I wouldn't expect somebody with Avengers to be at this low of a tier. Oh, he got stuck. He got stuck! Oh, and he's stuck between two cap cans right now. He can't do anything. The other thing is, right now, is that he can't melee any of them. And he's surrounded by them right now. Oh, you got this. Nope, nope, nope. <laughs> Launched in between two again. God, it's like watching a seal get clubbed. Ooh! Who has all these cat cans? They're everywhere on this map right now. Ooh, god damn, that hurricane guy's actually doing some. Right now he's getting stuck in a wall. And he's gonna flip over. Yep. Oh, he is so lucky. Okay, never mind. I think he's actually stuck. <laughs> and see, all of these hurricane launchers would be useless against me. Because the thing is, all I have to do is aim at them and fire my spark for a second and all of them are gone. I wish I could say that the same thing with unguided rockets. Ah, oh, that'd be so beautiful. Well, let's see how that form post is doing. Eh, 
not that bad. Okay, okay. So did we actually manage to get that crate? Ooh, okay. No, we didn't get it. Interesting, did the prices go up? Ooh, no one's just selling it right now. Okay. All right, so one second. I need to use the restroom and get a drink. So we'll, let's, uh, let's take a, a, a two-second break. We'll be right back. You all can do your things, too. All right, all right, all right. We're back. Sorry about that. I had to get something to eat. It's been absolutely ages since I ate anything. And then the thing is, I just like eating raw tomatoes. They're so delicious, and I don't know why. I'll have to wait on that. Oh, if we could actually get down back to those prices, that would actually be kind of nice. The strange thing is that I think Pathfinder crates would be a lot more common since that's like the main thing everyone goes for. Although I guess it does take ages to do it. Although strangely, this season's been much easier than usual. I think we'll be okay. Hmm. Yeah, Jesus, he's fine. Uh, back to it. Although actually, after this, let's go ahead and start doing some more raids because I start need to get back that good old scrap. One second, I'm going to eat this. Should have not mute my mic in time. <laughs> I wonder if it could be like a good distraction and tactic. Like you just have your open mic and then you just start mowing down on some tomatoes while your enemies are distracted. It's like, who is like, 
Is someone fingering some mac and cheese? Who? What the fuck's going on? And bam! Right in the fucking back with him. I think that it's distracting. I think the Russians did that at the uh, Battle of Stalingrad. Mmm, that's so mighty juicy there. That's what pussy should tell. This is a Christian stream. I do not condone any things I have to say here. Yeah! This is totally a Christian stream as I sit here and ram somebody into a wall and kill him. This is what they did in the Old Testament. Oh, if this was there, I would actually probably read it. Oh, hello! Yeah, you better let me off. Get me off! There you go, now you can just sit there and die from a distance. Hey, I love that. I love how the spark basically makes suicide attempts, as long as you can move, practically useless. Because the thing is, you can't really... You can't really run away, you can't really run towards somebody when you're at 50% reduced speeds. No, 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 no. Sit there and perish. Oh god, he's getting there. No, 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 no. And it looks like he just bought this pack, too. Tear it all off! This is actually taking a long-ass time to actually take his wheels off. There we go. He don't need it anymore. Oh, let's consume our tomato in victory. I feel bad for anybody on my Discord who can hear me right now. Not even that face rate could enjoy this. <laughs> the thing is, though, is that you, if you do that, you've basically become an ASMR streamer. And the thing is, those things are actually super popular in places like Korea, China, Japan. All of those where they just sit down, eat with a high-quality microphone, and you just hear everything gurgling in their mouth. And it's like, oh yeah, I'll pay you. Thousands upon thousands of dollars to watch that. What is he doing? He just came over here to commit suicide. Alright. I'll take the free points. I'll take it. Oh shit. Eh, let's not face them. How about they go over here? Alright. I feel like I accomplished something with that. <laughs> I can't I can't avoid them at that point. It's just like I have to accept my fate. I'll face it head on. Oh, and I actually got a new tomato. <laughs> so you actually hear more of that. I think I bought like seven pounds of these things. The thing is, though, is that you can actually save a shitload of money with buying tomatoes if you just claim it's bananas. So it's like, oh yeah, I'm buying bananas right now, and it's like you put on a scale, it's like, oh yeah, I bought seven pounds of bananas, and it's like two bucks versus the 30 it would cost you normally. Is that stealing? Maybe. Is it ethical? I don't know. <laughs> but my tomato craving, it's like heroin. Mmm. Also, this guy's built actually doing real good. It's actually strange, because Fat Man's and cannons like this used to be absolutely god-awful. Uh, like, two when Dawn Children came out, these things were basically the worst build you could have. 
Due to the fact that everyone was so heavily armored back then. Eviscerate the opponent! See, that's why you need those Goliath tracks. They save you so much. Of course you won't be able to move. Damn! You did good! As long as I still get the scrap, that's all that matters. Nice, nice. And, oh, that's right, I needed to do raids. That's what I was thinking about. I was like, why am I still doing this? I was like, let's finish this so like, I don't have a tomato in my hand the entire time. It's weird, because the face rig still tracks my face as I'm doing it. It just looks like I'm convulsing every time. There we go. As I, here we go, the Team Cadia. Well, you know what? What paint could I put on that looks slightly better than what I have on? Hmm. I don't know, if you saw this rolling around in the streets, would you think, this looks like a legitimate truck? This looks like this would actually carry haul and all sorts of crap on it? Or would you be like, no, this looks like some messed out dream from someone's worst nightmares. Maybe a combination of the booth. Ooh, do I need, do I need copper right now? Ooh, yeah, I definitely need copper. Okay, let's do it then. Ooh, and it's loons too. Hey, thanks for the subscriptions as well. Yes, I think actually you and um, uh, Josh Brady both subscribe, so thank you for that. For those who don't know, I'm currently streaming on Twitch, YouTube, and Mixer. Although, uh, Twitch does have an RPG system as well as notifications appearing on stream for when that happens. I haven't done a whole bunch with YouTube yet. I might be able to incorporate something at some point. So we'll see. We'll see. Although, YouTube does have a permanent archive of the stream for whatever pleasurable viewing you find it. I mean, right now I have like hundreds of streams on there for y'all to view. And the strange thing is, like, the most popular piece of content on my channel for some reason, that and my old grind videos, which I don't know, don't know why. But right now, we definitely need to get some of this copper. Since it's still technically cheaper for you to actually buy copper on your own as opposed to buying it. Because buying it, you want to buy stuff as minimally as possible if you want to start earning some cash through this game. Buy as little as possible, and your profit margins will always be 100%. Oh yeah, I didn't buy a single piece of scrap, copper, anything. Okay, so there you go. Now you have a 30 coin profit, a 400 coin profit every time you make something. Oh, come on. Somebody sell me a crate. The thing is, people love buying those things. Everyone loves gambling. Although, I always wouldn't try to actually make a CK container. I would actually love to make these things. The thing is right now is that these CK containers, these CK containers have an absurdly low drop chance for everything. Since you you could earn you could earn a pretty hefty profit if you do it correctly. Get a CK part. It's worth like twelve hundred bucks. Ooh shit. Well that guy has some nice fluorescent paint. But some of the CK parts are worth like forty bucks. So it's like, oh, you can earn up to 99,000 coins. Or you can earn 20 coins. It just all depends on the dice roll. Ooh. That is a weird-ass build. He's a Retcher, a Cricket, and a Goblin. Why the hell does he have that? Ooh, I love the Rathacon map. This is actually kind of nice and open. No, 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 no. No ramming. There we go. What we really need to get is the Apollo engine. Because as soon as we can get that, this car will actually have an extra radiator and we'll be able to pump out like an extra 200% damage. Well, you need to go away, go away. Thank you. I got it. My car is specifically designed for this. I got us what's going on here. Hey, thanks for that. Although the thing is, I do like Twitch better just because they seem to appreciate smaller content creators more often than YouTube. 
YouTube is just in a weird place right now where it's just overly trusting towards its AI to a fault, to the point where it's like, yeah, we'll trust the AI to make decisions on people's financial situations. Eh, disregard the fact it might cause them to lose a lot of money. Eh, small detail, small detail. Although I actually did get an emote for Twitch. So hell yeah. At 4,500 coin. Well, god damn, you're rich. I saw this guy last night who is, uh, his name is Please Carry Me. I don't remember what his Twitch name is. He didn't, I didn't really remember it. But his in-game name is Please Carry Me. And he said he had somewhere around 30, 40,000 gold. And this is on PC. On PC. Right now with the money he has, he could purchase a scorpion right off the market. At full market value. He was that rich. Oh, someone's messaging me. Okay, I was wondering why the hell is going on my phone. But the Russians are trying to hack it again. I love these saloons. They make these data heists so easy. Nah, 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 nah. Did you see how fast that thing slowed down? This is why you want to get a spark. You bastards are taking off all my wheels. There you go. Bye bye. On PC, it would be, but on Xbox, not that much. Yeah, it sounds like on Xbox, that wouldn't get you a whole lot. But on PC, four grand would get you uh, nearly two legendary parts. And you could easily convert that into more money if you just crafted. No, no, no running away, that little pussy. 50% extra reload time on those fuse drones. Oh, those are nice. Fantastic. The thing is, I really need to get some type of reinforced front wheel. Like, I need to get, like, maybe a heavy wheel of some sort. Since the thing is, if I lose my two front wheels, I really can't move anymore. And the only thing I have right now for my front car is just these racing tires. And these racing tires suck ass. Like, I mean, they're okay, but the only reason why I even have these is because they're from the Board of Flying Pack. And I sold the steering, or I sold a couple of these things a while back. There we go. And why is Yumari already dead? We just started this match. We're not even like two minutes in. I uh, got hopefully he joins back in. Because otherwise he's not going to get anything. There we go. The thing is, if you're not really here for the last little bit of part of this uh, raid, like if you're not here for like the last, say, five minutes, you basically earn nothing from the raid. Right, they're all being cheeky and hiding away. Alright. Stay out there, we'll come out there and they fuck you, little pussies. And so now they're just crawling back here. Do I love that elimination? All that points. This is why I kind of like having a spark. The spark, just for some reason, has like this weird tagging system where. I do enough damage to be classified as a point earner for per elimination. So you can actually just sit there and spark people and you get a crap load of points. Are you able to look at YouTube without showing it on stream? Uh, I don't know what you mean. Like, I have a dual monitor set up so I can look at it, yeah. And I also use studio mode on OBS. So even if I was a single monitor, I'd still be able to watch YouTube while on stream. Why are you trying to send me porn videos? I'll have you know I only look at those in the alpha I was. Because that used to be nothing but the donation messages it used to get. And now I can't look at YouTube. Oh, yep, there goes my leg. Now I'm crippled. I can't even reverse anymore. Oh, there we go. Come on. And then turn. Okay, yeah. Let me just commit suicide. <laughs> this is why you kind of need to get like a spear or the uh, lance vehicle. Just so that you can harpoon onto somebody and take it. Look up cross out Dracoin. Or Dr. Coin. Okay, I'll look that up. 
Sounds like one of those cross out channels dedicated to getting as much money as possible. Uh, you coming back, you Mari? Because I know you Mari still has another life. He's only been on here once. So he shouldn't be out by any stretch of the imagination. Yeah, it looks like the person's just AFK. I'm not even sure why they do that. There was a bunch of those bots early on that would just commit suicide upon entering in a raid. But now, eh. I'm not sure what they're doing. I kind of like this guy's building. I mean, look at all those Bigfoot tires right there. You have to remember, each one of those Bigfoot tires right now would be... Ooh, like 400 bucks a piece. Like, those things are top-tier tires right now, and everybody has them for their building. Yeah, no, where'd I go to? The Spock Patex. So right now, just his tires alone would cost him, like, two or four thousand dollars. And that's stuff you can craft, not even including other high-tier stuff. What else need to get a Cheetah engine to? Ooh, okay, there goes the entire backside. Oh, wow, that's everything gone. That's a first. To actually see the entire backside of my car gone. Can someone help me? I'm flu- Okay, I'm dead. <laughs> Alright, let's so look up Cross Out Dr. Coin. Okay, let's take a look here. What do we got? And it looks like this forum post is done for now. Yeah, it's good. So let's see, Dr. Coin. What did you say, Dr. Coin for PC? Oh, cross out Dr. Coin, okay. All right, so I think we're good there. So let's take a look here. Yeah, you guys shouldn't be able to see this. Okay. Cross that harvester tutorial by Dr. Coin. Okay. So is this like some German streamer? Alright. God, he has 95,000 coins. How the hell did you manage to get that high? Unless he's like one of those promotional accounts. Hmm. I'll take a look at that after this. Because I wanted to... Uh, I don't want to steal his content on streams. Because I know a lot of people do that. I'll take a look at that later. And did we actually lose that? Oh, wow. We actually did lose... Oh, god damn. Well, there goes about two coins worth of fuel. Just so I can get 50 copper. Okay, so I think we'll be okay now. Let's see, how much? Let's see, that's 160 durability versus 200. Huh. Well, that durability is nothing. What we could do... Is that we could swap out these tires for the ones in the back. Just so that we can put in the heavier front tires, like these ones on here. And yeah, it'll, it'll look a little wonky in the back. But that's just to... How would I say? That's like a backup. Really to increase our tonnage. We just want to get these tires up here since they're a little bit more durable. Right, well, that should help us out a tad bit. And why are we missing... Did they forget to put a tire on? Huh. Did I accidentally delete something here? For some reason, we only were missing a part. And I don't know where. Alright, fuck it. Let's put an accessory and call it good. Well, where could we actually put this? Oh, there's none of those left? Hmm. Oh, yes! Okay. 
Okay, so we actually managed to buy one of these Pathfinder crates. Okay. Okay. So the reason why we bought this, for those of you who don't know, we bought a Pathfinder's crate because the last crate we purchased had an improved cooler in it, which bumped up our total from 340 up to 389 so assuming at current prices, if I get a $400 item, I could actually make profit off this. I could actually make profit. The thing is, though, is that there is a few items in here that are worth below just enough to actually make it a profitable. So basically, we could get these items, this, basically all of these right here, and I could earn a profit. So it's like a half chance right here to actually earn something. So let's see, what, what shall the gods bless us with this time? RPG Jesus, give us something good for our holy breakfast. Okay, okay, okay. Damn, okay, 370. Ah. The thing is, we actually did save two coins. <laughs> <laughs> By getting that. Huh. The thing is, do I want to sell that? Because that is nice. 600 meter detection radius versus 450. Yeah, now nah, we'll sell it. So with that, we'll earn three... Th oh, okay, so we actually lost four coins on that. Damn. So that was almost worth it. That was almost worth it. So you could actually almost potentially earn. It's like a very low risk since the majority of the time you'll actually earn something from that. But that's actually kind of interesting. We almost earned a profit from that. And you know, we might as well get rid of these two since I don't use them. Let's see, how many did we have? Nine. Let's just go ahead and sell eight of them. Might as well try to earn my bunny back since I burned it all on that. You can go too. Wait, how many do we have with you? Nine, so we'll sell seven of you. I want to keep a certain amount of these because I do occasionally do low power score builds where I just use like weapon radiators and all that. It occasionally works. And I think that's it. Oh my god, we have a lot of Lupras. Actually, let's keep those because we use those for synthesis, right? Oh no, it's Genesis we use those for. Do I want to make that right now? Wait, wait, wait. 43. Why is this worth so much? Holy shit. The thing is, this does not make sense. Why is that worth so much more? This thing's worth like five more coins than the next item. Damn. Let's make a couple of these then. Because we could actually earn a real pretty penny with these. We just need to get some scrap, though. Oh, we might as well buy it. We only save one coin. Might as well do it, because we'll actually earn a lot of money from that. Thir 43 coins. So that's what we got to keep a track on. That's what happened with Lunar ST, Lunar 5's ST, the steering wheels. Those last night at around 12, for some reason, spiked up to 45 bucks per... And they were still being sold like hotcakes. So if you actually were making Lunar STs around that time, you would actually make a shitload of money through them. And I don't even know why they were so expensive. But if you also want to try to make some money, there's a little bit uh, more tedious of a way to do it. There is the CK route. So if you look up CK uh, space that, you can actually go down to these CK parts here. And, oh, well, I'll show you that in a second. But if you actually looked at it real closely, you'll notice that the profit margins for them were, like, over 100 coins. Oh! Oh, wow, why did I go in these games? <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. I wanted copper. I feel bad for them. I just guaranteed them a loss. I was like, why are there 10,000 people in here? Oh... Oh, that's why. 
I think we'll be okay. So we just need six more missions, and it's hard, so we're not even going to be able to do it in time. Ooh, this will be okay, though. Ooh, and just destroy raiders, that'll take two missions at best. Ooh, with drones, though, that'll be a little bit harder. Yeah, these are not going to be that bad, because I've seen a lot of battles with them. I could actually try to use a Goliath, like, growl build with a bunch of drones. That could work as well. It's actually kind of nice to have a lot of destroy raiders missions, because that'll actually be really easy to do. Hmm. Let's take a look right now. Yeah, I'll be okay. <laughs> We're consummating a baby with this dude. We just met him. Why does it keep doing this? Like, the entire parking spot right there to the left is completely open. And yet, I'm just sitting here dry helping this guy. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to dry hump you. Why are you shooting me? I didn't mean to do it, Harold. Stop beating me. There we go. I love that guy's build. He has a lot of tracks. Tracks are a really nice and easy way to get up your durability. The thing is, though, is that while I do like him, it's just the speed reduction is so hefty that it's really not even worth it. Then, ever since they nerfed the turning speed of tracks, they basically become shit tier for anything like this. Especially with the loons. Ooh, is he the harvester on? Oh, that explains why he's getting close. Then his build does not look anywhere near close enough for our power score. I mean, he looks very fragile. Although, I mean, he's still 10,000 power score. He has two, th uh, what's it called? Hammer falls plus the harvester. He's doing damage with those things. Oh, no, no, no. Not the guns. Not the guns. There you go. Hey, someone else needs to take because I can't. Thank you, thank you. It's looking like the twin wheels are actually working out quite nicely. Although, you know what? If I did make the frame shorter in the front so that I could tuck the wheels underneath the uh, plow, they probably could live longer. We'll mostly think about trying to potentially get the small tracks. Yes! Okay. So this could work. Let's try to do bow 4,000. Why is this bad raping me? Well, how many Goliaths do you have on there? Seven Goliaths. That's 14 power. So then if he has a radiator plus a cooler, he would actually be doing massive damage with that thing. Yeah, go ahead and get rid of that. I can't imagine how quickly he's bursting these things down. They must be living literally two second lives. I mean, look at that. It's nearly a white line when he shoots. Like, there's so many bullets being fired, it doesn't even register his textures anymore. Imagine having an entire team of like that on PvP maps. Where they just have, you know, seven Goliath or not Goliaths, goblins. All sitting there firing at a single target. I mean, the thing would pretty much vanish at that point. Or, you know, even better, a Leviathan with that. So a Leviathan with nothing but goblins on there, that's just super high speed and able to turn like on a dime. Just imagine that ramming into somebody and you just lay in that hail. Because the thing is, you can get your Leviathan up to 66 power, if I remember correctly. So you could have 30 goblins plus 6 radiators. <laughs> and you could basically fire forever. That is what I would actually love to see. Like, that has to be a legitimate build. Someone has to make that. Especially for Clan Wars. Oh my god, imagine if you had that for Clan Wars. If you were just able to sneak up on somebody with that type of build, you'd instantly one-shot them. Alright, let's just throw in the Chameleon and... Oop, gone. Especially if you get that on hovers. Oh, that'd be perfect. 
I'll let you if it'd be better than like an all cricket build. Those are everywhere right now. Excuse me, this is mine. I'm purpose built for this, darling. You can't handle it. But that's what I need to get. Those Bigfoot tires right there would be beautiful for this vehicle. Especially if I could get that cheetah engine. That'd actually be nice. Give us an extra 500 towing power. Plus the actual uh, 500 cabin tonnage through the engineer's co-driver. All the thing is I have to invest like, what, 200, 300 coins worth of materials to actually even get that. If I can do that without, without the huge investment, that would actually be worth it because this thing would be driving effing fast. Hey, not bad. 70 reputation. I think the, the police carry guy uh, last night I was watching, he was... Love to have ads. <laughs> it doesn't even make sense because the thing is is that I don't even get a share of any of the profits. So, like, why is there even ads on my channel? Like, how do they know I'm a safe content creator? Okay, I'm getting tired all of a sudden. I'm gonna sleep. What was I gonna say? The please carry guy last night. He had, I think, prestige level sixty-eight. When I was watching him, like something stupidly high like that. And to the point where I asked him, how many games have you been in? And apparently he'd been in close to 30,000 games. Which I don't even know how that's possible. Okay. I'm a little bit limp in here. I still have my weapons cooler. <laughs> and I still have everything. It's just I'm missing a gun now. I'm a little bit soft. How did the thing actually manage to even hit my gas generator? How did you even know where it was? The thing is though, I could have actually lost it and it didn't matter because my defender turret was already gone. So I'm still at like 60-80% killing capacity right now. You can never finish me off there. I've been to San Francisco, I know how to long last against these men of advances. Okay, not that, that long. Still a little bit squishy. It's actually still not that bad of a build. Considering everything. Maybe we need to reinforce... The gas generator. Maybe just a tad bit more. I'm not really sure what else I can do because I'm trying to make this vehicle not that fatty fat two shoes thing. Your futile resistance is no match for cruel. All your people fools who attempt him. Oh, yes, Father Christ, tickets to oppress you all. Ooh, and a mantle of endless strength. God damn, finally won this. Beautiful. F you, Wet Knight. I finally won. Thanks to all the free bow tickets. Spark his reputation 50? I think he's roughly around there. I can imagine he's been playing this game for a lot longer than I have. And rightfully so. He's doing good though. If I remember correctly, isn't he like the number one Twitch streamer for Crossout? Well, I can't imagine that's a very hard like statistic to beat. But he has to be close to being like the number one. Because he's always consistently in the number one position. At least for English people. Yes, yeah, look at that wet knight. You were too... Oh goodness, don't die at me. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know what's going on. Are you still okay there? No, that's right, run the UP is. Him and Sin. Oh yeah, Sin Cakes too. I haven't seen him in a hot second. Yeah, it's really like a spark plug I watch. I try to watch Sin Cakes on all the other rest of them, but yeah, I didn't have too much. Although me and him share a lot of the same viewers too. No 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 no. Get rid of your shitty guns. I love the Loon's Leviathan, it's so bad. <laughs> like, why would you even put in such a terrible Leviathan for a battle like this? This thing barely does any damage. 
Ooh. Oh, it's just just a little bit behind him. But I actually did better than the guy in 10,000 power score. See, this is a perfect exemplification of that power score does not mean everything. Sometimes you can have an extra 2,000 power score against me and do 30 points less. I like Spark Bar. Yeah, Spark too. I do like him. I don't know. They just seem to be much more... How would I say? Chill? They're, they're chill to a point where... Like, a large portion of the time, it goes quiet. Not to be insulting on them, because I go quiet, too, but, like, it's a consistent thing. Know what I mean? All right, so, yes, that's right, the CK part. So I was talking about this earlier. So the thing is, if you actually check the CK part listings, look at this. These CK parts right now have profit margins that are so stupidly huge. I mean, look at this thing right now. This CK Demon sold for 273 and is being bought for for 170 That is a hundred coin difference. And that means even with this current profit margin, if you took that 27 coins off, you had to pay in 10% tax. You would still earn like 80 coins if you were actually able to properly get one of these sold to you. I mean, look at that profit margin right there. Damn. And there's a huge demand for it, too, right now. 26 people are trying to buy this thing. So this is how you get that beautiful... Ooh. Actually, you know what? It's 0 0.01. So I'm going to get a 0.02. So if you can actually earn money with this, you could earn something pretty. All these other ones are a little bit more sketchy. This, the CK officer, this could actually be good. All of this is for the judge, if I remember correctly. Is this for the judge? Yeah, the judge that I would see not being very popular. Oh, yeah, this one right here. This. Wow. Look at that huge difference in price. A, nearly 2,000 versus 1,200. 800 coin profit. 800 coins. Holy shit. If you could sell that thing, even with that 190 coin loss in tax you would still make close to 600 coins to selling that thing alone oh my god that's a lot of money and the snow leopard this i can actually imagine being highly sought after it's not too much though or the flying daggers oh that looks sweet and that you could actually sell for a decent profit too so like this, if you can actually play the CK market properly here, mm, hi, yeah, hardly anyone sells them, but I've managed to earn some profit doing this. If you go for the white tier guns, they tend to have a lot more people going for it. So I mean, let's see, right here, you'd be paying eight coins in profit. Hell yeah, I'll buy this then. Let's buy this for 55.01. Always go up by a cent, go any higher. I will personally come out of the closet and smack you all with a nine iron. But we also need to resell this thing. Trade for 73.99. Yes, okay, so I'm currently in the top position for that. Just need someone to buy that. Let's see if I can get these two. This is the only issue is is that the reason why these profit margins on CK parts are so high is because you have this right here. This 30-minute wait timer. If it wasn't for that, these prices would have evened out a second ago. But look at that. You can still get a nice profit. Look at this. A CK officer. Oh, I wish you weren't the judge, because then you'd be profitable. Like, you want to do it for really popular items right now. Yeah, we'll, we'll do it too right now. We don't want to go too risky right now. But the thing is, last time, I didn't earn any money off the CK parts, and I had to work for fucking days to get those things up. Oh, no, I'm not in the closet. That's the metaphor for my room, because my room is tiny as shit. I don't know, maybe I am in the closet. You'll never know. <laughs> Alright, so do you need any more data theft here? Let's see, how much... Hmm... Yeah, I probably should do it, to be honest. The thing is, though, I'm still surprised plastic hasn't evened out in price. 
Because the thing is, is that plastic at its current rate at which you acquire it is not profitable right now. It is only artificially kept up due to the high amount of orders inside. Like, how the hell is that thing even worth 21? I think it should be worth 24 at least. Hmm. How many more do we need to go here? Five more? Alright. Fine, let's do it then. Might as well do it. I got 1,200 fuel anyway. I'll personally come out of the closet. Aye, I'll come out of this room. Out of this closet. You know, I'll, I'll show you what it's like. If I was actually be in the closet, this is what it would sound like. You see? Right now. Nice. Nice good echo qualities. But then, as soon as I get into the closet, I lose it. If I was a homosexual, a homosexual, then you can notice that... Oh, fuck, it's tight in here. Like it should be. <laughs> see, you can't hear shit now, can't you? You guys still hear me? I doubt it. I can barely hear shit in here. Is that a rat? Okay, joke's over. No. <clears throat> Too fat to be in there. We're not going in there. It's full of rats and dirty things. And no, that isn't a euphemism for bad things. Don't take the throw away. <laughs> I'm sorry if it sounded like just like a loud ass gun sound in there. I didn't mean to do that to your ears. Oh, that's right, I have a message here. Let's see. What's going on here? Oh, fuck, it's all in French again. Fuck. Wet night? You're testing your limits there. You're lucky that you're a sub, even though I gave you that sub. <laughs> Alright. So what does this actually mean? If I paste this back in delicious. <laughs> Very well, I like wheat. Who the hell sends a message like that? Like, are they trying to admit themselves that they have a habit here? Alright, one second. I'll try to respond to that later. Because right now we have an actual thing here to work at. 5k, oh god. The thing is, a 5k build could work. The emphasis on could. Could. Because the thing is that nobody here... Let's see, who's the one with 5k? Raketa. Two judge cannons, okay. <laughs> you might have a hard time doing anything. The thing is, I have seen 5k builds work. It's just usually cannon builds do not do enough. Unless they're somehow, like, immaculate aims. On perimeter breach, cannons actually do work quite nicely. What is he doing? Oh, he's trying to fire at the other ones from a distance. I see, I see. Maybe he'd be interested in buying some Judge CK skins. Only 273 coins a piece. Buy yours today. The thing is, if I imagine if they reduced the price of CKs or just had a different system entirely, or it's like a CSGO system where you get a, the CK crates uh, randomly from battles or from certain brawls, but then you had to craft the item in order to open it, then I could see... Potentially, people wanting to do more CK parts. That I could see more often. Hey, someone has to get it. I'm already full. My cabin's already full. I, I'm a full payload right now. I gotta deliver all these accessories to the market. I don't even know why I like doing this truck build. This works out so perfectly. There we go. We'll let him do it. Eh, to be fair, though, the other power score should actually help us out. Well, I'm actually kind of curious as to why the guy's using a caucus. We there. The rats finally came out of the closet in the form of lunatics. 
See, these are the things I was afraid of seeing inside. Rather, maybe what I saw there was more reference to The Last Jedi. With nothing but reflecting mirrors showing me endlessly down the hallway. There we go. Don't need them. Ooh, no, 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 no fuses. Are they coming? Ooh! Off with them. See, that's why you need the, the spark. The spark will save lives. I have no idea what the guy's saying in Russian. Can someone translate here? Who here is in native Russian? I guarantee you they're just complaining about the fact that they can hear me. Because apparently my microphone was live the entire time during a battle. And I didn't know it. So everyone was just hearing me commentate like a streamer to these 10 people who I have no fucking clue who they are. And I still have no idea if they can hear me. They probably could. I never know. They could all just be getting a free show without ever knowing. Well, I'm pretty sure everyone disables that in-game microphone setting. There's too many people spamming DJ music. Or like an electronic trance. The strange thing is that like nobody on this game actually has a microphone. I actually wonder if it's the same on a console. Yeah, get rid of that, get rid of that. I'm actually kind of curious if my DPS for this guy would be higher if instead of the defenders I used, I instead used just humpback plus a couple of specters. Because the thing is, the cabin I have on right now, the ice pack, the ice box, sorry, this gives 10% more damage to the defenders, which is why I'm even using it, just because of this. How do you find the clips you take on Twitch? Well, I think the clips you take are archived on the Twitch's channel, but usually you're given a link. Like a past Twitch clips, I am not sure. I usually save the links so that I still have them on hand. They might be saved to your clip folder, if I'm not mistaken. I don't know entirely for certain. That's what I would look first. There's usually a clip channel on both the streamers and your personal channel. Oh, that's right, I already have the crate. Whoops, okay, I'll take this off your hands. Yeah, I think we'll be okay. As long as that 5k guy can manage to one-shot the Rocketeers plus the... Uh, who is it? The melee ones. If they manage to keep those two peace officers in check, we'll be fine. There we go. Although I have no idea where they are. This radar is shite. Is that 400 meters? It does not feel like it. No, 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 no melee. Yeah, cause these guys will melt this tower. Yeah, see, look at that. That one time he's been there, he already did four points of damage. No, 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 no. Get rid of them all. He's actually really good at aiming that. I'm surprised. Like, I haven't seen him miss a shot yet with a single one of those judge shots. And you can sit over there and die. Very nice. Ooh, okay. I'm already missing a tire, though. Although, when you do take an explosive spear to it, it's, it's going to be kind of sketchy. Right now, if I were any of y'all, if you can't do the hard missions for that maximum amount of coin, do that scrap mission first. Because that right now will get you a shitload of money. So I don't know why. Scrap's going up in price. So if you take that scrap, turn it into items, you'll actually earn a stupid amount of cash. Actually, I don't know. It actually might be cheaper or more profitable just to sell the scrap as is. Ooh, 
You okay? Keep coming, keep coming. I think this is the last wave anyway. Yeah, you might be kind of screwed. That Rocketeer basically took out everything. Yeah, see, look at this. This is why we kind of need to get tracks. I didn't like using tracks on this thing because tracks were absolutely god awful. But it appears that I really don't have an option. I have to use tracks on these builds. Oh, yeah, and I haven't checked yet. Let me take a look. Because I have an RPG system built in the chat, but I just got a new item. I don't need the mantle of endless strength. Ooh, extra four strength. So what's my strength at now? It says it's at 15, but that doesn't make sense. It should be at 19 now. Huh. Yeah, for some reason my strength has not improved on this Twitch stat. Okay, whatever. That's why I don't want like, to have that influencer stat anymore. I just kind of want to be a regular Joe in my stream with the actual RPG system. Because right now, nothing I do on it actually seems to do anything. I get all the items, but it doesn't seem to actually improve stats. It could also be because I am a Titan boss. There we go. I think that one melee guy did all that damage. Oh yeah, we still have two more waves to go. Alright guys, it's just a fire bug. We'll be okay then. Just keep that spark up so they can't move. Nice, this on. Okay, we're good. Nice. It's a good start off. I mean, I've been doing this uh, streaming thing for ever. Starting to get falling off with a little bit of the followers does help it nicely. And there's no feeling like it. Alright, yeah, let's keep these efforts away, otherwise we're going to die real quickly. Eh, eh, eh. None of that. Although five years on Twitch, and I've only have, let's see, close to, if I remember correctly, like 150 followers, something like that. So you probably have better chances of being better than me. Okay, why are you hurting me? You hurt me so bad, daddy. None of those Dracos, come on. Very nice. Ooh, okay. Love that ammo cache. Sounds like it'll be good there. So I think it should be enough. Well, for zero streams and 11 followers, that's, uh, that's pretty damn good. Doing a lot better than me. <laughs> better than doing this for five years and getting, oh god, how many followers do I have now? I've actually gotten quite a few today, to be honest. Let's take a look. Uh, 128. Never mind. <laughs> 128 followers over the course of five years. God damn, I'm good. <laughs> I, don't even, I don't know how that manages to happen. Although, to be fair, to be fair, I did restart my stream... A couple of times. Like, I, I changed my name from the Sad Panda Lol to Panda Leas way back, and I deleted the old account since that was getting doxxed. So, I just changed back to this one. Oh, trust me, follow for follow is actually a really, really common thing. Like, a lot of these bots uh, in my chat right now, let's take a look here. Uh, Commander Root and, let's see, I'm trying to remember who else is in here. Yeah, I think it's just Commander Root. Commander Root, he's a bot, he's a view bot. Well, I shouldn't say view bot, but he's one of those bots that goes around to every channel on Twitch and uh, basically, oh no, we're not doing that mission. No, crap, why did I do this? But no, that bot basically goes around to every channel on Twitch Lurks on their channel, even though they don't have a lot of viewers. So that gives them that extra bit of, like, discovery 
And then people go to his channel and realize, oh, he's a hosting bot. So you can host yourself on this channel with all these people watching it. But then everyone in the chat's like, follow for follow, follow for follow. To artificially increase your viewer stats. The thing is, is that following on YouTube. Oh yeah, electric skateboarding, he's another popular one. The thing is, though, is that getting followers on this platform does not matter. Like, it doesn't. It doesn't. Having viewers, that's all that matters. And viewers actually come through, you know, organic engagements. Sure, you can artificially inflate those numbers, but, I mean, it's pretty obvious when a channel is artificially inflating it, and they get banned pretty quickly. Sorry, I cleaned up my room a little bit. And the thing is, though, is that if you keep trying to do that, you'll get banned, and then that's just pointless. You just wasted a couple hundred dollars uh, view botting yourself up, and just get shot right down. It's like being a titty streamer. It's like, there's no reward in the end, but one second. Uh, that is one thing, though, is that it depends really on the game, too. If you have a game that has, you know, people who are very active within the community and they always play the game while you're watching, and then usually they just lurk. Although with Spark, I mean, it's like two or three people are chatting at any given moment, and it just keeps on rotating. Some people chat, and then they play the game, don't talk for a long-ass time. Some people do that. It's fine. I mean, I don't mind it. It's, a, it's one of, like, the... I don't want to say perks of this thing, but... That's just how it is. A lot of people lurk. Especially on games like mm, horror games. They tend to lurk quite a bit hefty. Ah, I just need to get more tomatoes at some point. He's doing good, though. I don't mind him. I envy him. He's doing good. Some people just have a natural talent for it. Some people don't. It's just a thing. And it's also a lot of luck. Ah, the thing is, I don't know if I'm a fat ass for doing this, but investing in a mini fridge for your room, <laughs> best thing you could do. Of course, it'll make your room hot as hell since the compressor will pump out a load of heat. But, ah, uh, just having that fresh, cold shit right next to you. Mm. Hey, and thanks for the follow on Mixer as well. Why is Mixer so active today? <laughs> This blows my mind. Mixer is never this active. God damn. Thank you all. For those of you who don't know, I'm currently streaming on Twitch, YouTube, and Mixer. But uh, Twitch alerts also appear on stream as well, as well as YouTube having a permanent archive of the stream for all viewing pleasure. So follow whatever platform is your favorite. I think we'll be good here. Although, what gone two minutes is this? Nomads. Okay, this could work. Because the thing is, is that scavengers and lunatics are by far the hardest uh, versions of this. Because the lunatics, they just spawn way too fast, and then they just ram right into that vehicle. End up killing you within two seconds. Yeah, I think we're good. Hey. It's my pleasure to let you do here. I am but a humble servant of a glorious tomato. The only thing here that I can service me as well. Ooh, no, 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 no. Not running away. I may be a fat truck, but I can still turn on dime. I got bipolar in these wheels. Eh, do that. 
And he just can't do anything. He just has to sit there and take the electrical tasering. It's a sign of a glorious time. Although, I am not sure what the hell that guy did right there. He's like randomly suicided in a group of five of them. What power score is he? If he's an AK and doing that, you don't deserve that power score. You deserve to have all of it stripped away. There we go, take all of that off. There we go. Dude, I love that vehicle design. It kind of looks like the front of a train plow, to be honest. Almost like the, the Cerberus cannon. Actually looks pretty sick. Might have to start investing in that again. The thing is, I've actually been seeing a lot more of people just using those armored tracks as sort of like a cheap way for armor. The thing is, though, is that the people who have those and then just put cannons right on the top of that, like, what are you planning is going to happen? They're going to be nothing but a freaking spin top. Because I've seen these, and I have had to haul half of these back up to the air because they keep falling over and dying within two seconds. Ooh, you cheeky brewski. What the fuck are you doing? Oh, yep. All right, you know what? Just kill me, fam. It was just way too far away for me to actually do anything. Let's just kill ourselves. The only thing you can say in context that would make sense. Let's just give up and die. Hmm. It's not as bad as the Mandrakes. Although the, those vehicles are consistently effing me over in this game. The thing is, if I just had my... Maybe my defenders on the back part of my truck. Maybe that might work better. The thing is, those, those retros just have way too much of a spread. I mean, it's like if you looked at it like a ball, the ball would be covering the entire front of my truck. And look at that. 98 already gone. And things we just started this, I'm already out of life, so I can't move, lose any more. And we're going to be facing a shitload of these. Ah, uh, come here, child. Consume the light. I kind of feel like a police officer just discharging this much tasering force. No, 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 no. Stop your shit. Don't tase me, bro. Don't tase me. And it's actually surprising how little uh, police officers actually use the taser. Because the thing is, if you go to a channel like Police Activity, like I found this on YouTube, and it's just nothing but uh, police body cam footage, uh, you know, whenever they had to use it for court dates and whatnot to release the public record, and, like, the amount of people who are immune to electricity, like, they have to be a rock-type Pokemon or some shit, because none of it seems to work. Like, if they just sit there, it's like, oh, yep, okay, he sits there and he's just like standing still while getting tased with 1500 megajoules of asinine power. And the cop's just like, okay, let's just bust out the gun and shoot him in the head and call it a good day. Of course, it's not, it's not every situation, but I mean, it's consistently like that. Like, we got some people who are fucking Geodudes out in real life. They just laugh it all off. Oh, no, 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 no rockets, no rockets. And you have some people who are like Meryl and just freaking cry every time they get hit with a little bolt. Alright, one second. You efforts need to go. There you go. Why guys can't be like the little oil barrel guys that just end up killing themselves? There you go. Nice. Ten point elimination. Beautiful. I see, these guys are basically Geodudes. I know, basically the Art not Articunos. Who is that one? Zapdos. I'm basically that one. A glorious bird to fly around and sing to the heavens those who wish to hear my praises. And like the least sought after part of the birds. Everyone always wants Moltres or Articuno. Hello, I'm trying to remember what is a legendary dog? That was the electric type. I know Entei was the fire and 
Uh, Suqueen? Is that what it is for the ice? But I, I keep thinking it's Electabuzz, and I know it's not that. Fuck, what is it? I'm looking at something because it's driving me mad. You the God King Magic Carp. What are you talking about? That Magic Carp from. Uh, what is it? Like that uh, Pokemon movie where Ash has to save. Lu uh, not Lucio, because Lucio doesn't exist in Pokemon. What is it? It's the. Ah! Uh, he has to save one of the legendary birds, and in the water you can just see like this massive Magic Carp that's like the size of a yacht. <laughs> are you that Magic Carp? Are you the, the Wist of Wild, though? The absolute unit? I could see it being you. I see only the type that would be that wide. The absolute unit of the Pokemon with. I can't imagine how big of a Gyarados that thing would turn into, to be honest. It's like, oh, this thing weighs 1,500 kilograms. And its hyper beam covers the size of Rhode Island. If it was pointing in the right direction, you'd not exist anymore. It's a beautiful creature. Alright, so I think we would be kind of screwed up here because there's a crap load of these mines up here. Should I take the brunt of the force? <laughs> the thing is, I feel like they should actually really adjust these maps. Yeah, here we go. We got some allies here. Just keep them away for a little bit. Take all of their guns off. There you go. See what's that hard, little children? All he had to do, like Mr. Rogers leading a puddle of pigeons. No, 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 no. Just sit there to pass over. Don't do anything stupid. There you go. Nine points. I'll take that. Ah, crap. How did I not hit any of those? All right. We are still okay. He has 30% HP left. I think we might be okay. I think is we still have like another three raids to do. Ooh, shit, 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 shit. There we go. See, none of that crap. The thing is, I imagine this raid would be a lot harder if every time these guys got disarmed, and instead of committing suicide, all they would do is just, uh, or instead of ramming into something when they're disarmed, actually started committing suicide and running into vehicles. I feel like this would actually be like three times harder. Hey, plus size, thanks for the host. I may need to get, like, notifications for Twitch. Or for Mixer. The thing is, the only platform I know of right now that actually does notifications for YouTube, Mixer, and Twitch is... I think... I think it's Stream Elements, if I remember correctly. The thing is, I'm using a competitor to Stream Elements called uh, Gaming for Good. In which the main draw for that is that it's mostly centered around a charity. Since there's an option to donate through charity with this one. I'll take a look at the Google search whether or not it actually applies to Twitch too. Or to YouTube. And that thing needs to go away. Come on, off you go. Oh god, why does this car keep moving? Ooh, no, 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 no. There you go. See it there? Don't reload Take your time. I think we'll be okay. The tires are all actually peeled off, so this guy's screwed. Bye bye. Nice. Hey, and see, look at that. Extra. Whoo, wow. That's like what? So I did 23 points plus an extra 16. 23 plus 16. 39 extra points from the guy behind me. Whew, that's a lot. That's a lot. 39 points, you have to realize, considering every elimination, a peace officer is worth 5, and a regular grunt is worth 3. So, that means I had to kill at least a dozen more people than the person behind me, and way more than these guys. That does not make sense. They basically were not participating at all. This is why you want to get that spark. You get that extra bit of electronic... And the extra electronic gives you a 10% increase in your profits. Oh, and we got that extra bit of scrap too. Hell yeah. Give me it all. I'll take it all. 
Because right now, let me see, let me show you the difference between 10 electronics versus 9 electronics. And just how much money that would add to in the course of, say, 10 raids. Well, in the course of 10 raids, if you earn an extra electronic, you would earn an extra 4 coins. So it's actually kind of nice profit there. But you can actually make that higher, since the thing is, is that right now, what you can do to actually artificially inflate your... How would I say? Your earnings inside a raid is by flipping up allies. So if you have the time, like in data theft or perimeter breach, to actually sit there and flip your ally, you could actually just go off a ledge, flip your ally, and then just constantly flip them back over. And you can do it for like 60, 100 points. So if you do that, you can actually earn that, get 11 electronics to 12 electronics per game. I've seen it happen. Which at that point, you're earning like 30% more rewards. And if you're earning 30% more rewards per rate, I mean, that's going to translate to a shitload of money. The thing is, though, you need to get, like, a vehicle perfectly designed for it, though. Like, if you can have a vehicle that can flip itself easily, then you could actually get a lot of money. Although, an easy way to do that would be to... Let's take a look here. I know there's a special wheel in here. It's like that pimpin' wheel that gets you the little hump. Where is it at? I know it's purple tier. Although, where or oh, where is it? Oh, so it's not purple tier. Okay, is it blue tier then? For a wheel, though. So where is that pimpin' wheel? It's not the landing gear. What's that one that allows you to jump? Ah, the stallion. Here it is. So if you can get this one right here, while well, the stallion stationary, and it still has the mnemonics too. Okay. So the thing is, what you could do is that you could have a vehicle where one side of the vehicle was the stallion steering wheels. And basically what you could do with that is that you could flip your vehicle onto its side and just consistently do that. Flip it on its side, have someone flip you over, flip it on your side, flip back over. You can just consistently do that for a crap load of money. Of course, it might be a little bit expensive, considering that's $300 per wheel. Holy crap, that's a lot. But you could do it. You could earn a crap load of profit from doing that. Oh, I want to make another one of you, but you're so expensive. The price of plastic is still too low. Mm, okay, I think we'll be okay. I still need three more raids, though. That's at 15 minutes each. Okay, I need to get electronics anyway. Let's see. Yeah, we still need another 430 electronics. Holy crap. Oh, wait, no, 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 no. We only need up to 750 now. So we need, uh, like, another 200 electronics. 180 more electronics, and then we're good with this. So then at that point, we have to start farming batteries, which... Those are actually a lot more expensive than I thought. They're... Let's see, for 750 at $13 a piece, you'd be paying, uh, let's see, for 750 God, you'd be paying like 400 bucks for that. Let's actually take a look here, is it still, oh wait, no, I'm overestimating it by a lot. I was going to say 400 bucks seems like a lot. So I would need eight of these orders for 100 bucks. holy crap. But that would get me all the batteries I need. Instantaneously. Hmm. So for a hundred bucks of that, I get it. And I'd be able to make the Apollo engine at that point. Of course, that means I would also have to give up my, um, my tracks. Although, the gas generator, I could give up. I have two of those for no reason. And I'd still have an extra quantum. Nice. Ooh, okay. Oh, mm. JFK. J John F. Kennedy. Could someone just, like, snipe you already to put you out of your misery? There's no way you should be doing this. Four Spitfires. Okay. Okay. Don't drive down the street just yet. There might be a sniper waiting for you. 
let's go ahead and take you off. Hey, look at that. I'm already a leech, hiding my little closet right here. Oh, damn, I thought they were going to come after me for a second. Hey, let's see, you're disarmed. Good. You're off. And then you're all off. Alright, stop dry humping us. We're letting the seed in. They're breeding like rabbits. Hey, no, 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 no. God, you can't even see anything in that flurry of lightning. Just imagine if you had two or three of these spark cannons. Because the thing is, these things are only four electricity apiece. So with a full build, you can have up to four sparks at any given time. Four sparks, or you could have three with two radiators and two coolers. Probably a little bit more profitable than those would last forever. Oh, those would be beautiful. Because I saw some guy who had two radiator, two sparks, and I think he was actually able to melt these things like crazy. And he didn't even have melee weapons on. He just got into the short melee range and started melting them. Of course, that means he has to take a lot more damage, but it would be so worth it. Yeah, okay. I might have bitten off a little bit too much here. Just got to keep disarming. The thing is, there's a different tactic you have to approach for each one of these factions. The scavengers, it's more about those peace officers. You immediately have to go after them, otherwise your raid's done. Uh, with nomads, it's all about disarming. And with lunatics, you don't even go for the disarm. Since they have uh, triple guns, it's basically impossible to really uh, properly disarm them. Since the guns themselves probably have more HP than the cabins itself. So you can just go straight for that cabin kill and be done with it. 92 damage! What the hell? This thing's already lost 8 points? How did that happen? Like, can the thing be damaged prior to eat? Okay. So why don't these things just, like, commit suicide on it and end up just instantly causing us to raid? Yeah, that guy really needs to get a spark in his build. Oh, there goes a the gun. Okay, sorry. Back up, back up, back up. Oh, wow, do I have no wheels left? Oh, fuck. Okay, well, I'm done. Nothing to do in this thing. I can sit there and try to limp along, but at that point, just I'm a, I'm a, just a crippled-ass horse. Put me out of my misery. Turn me into a glue in the nearest factory. I'm a stallion beyond repairing. Yeah, see, that caused me to suicide there, so we really need to find something to reinforce that front wheel. You know, what we could do is we could take some of the armor off our uh, cabin back here and put it around the front of our car to reinforce the wheel. That's what I'm thinking we need to do. Like, if we somehow shimmy the parts over to the left, we might be able to help it out. You know, get rid of you. And stop with your meleeing shit. We could try going back to tracks as well. The tracks would be the easy solution to do it. Since those have a lot more HP. And they're actually a little bit more slim against the car too. Yeah, let's go ahead and get you off. Ooh, shit, 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 shit. Hey, nice. Okay, he's not focusing on us. Just keep firing. A hail of bullet storm looks like nom right now. Nothing but napalm. Hey, look at that. Now we're kind of screwed. If we can get past this with more than 30% HP, we'll be okay. It's just getting those turrets right there actually do a lot of damage. Okay, so you're disarmed. Okay, that's everybody. Nice, we actually might be able to do this. And the guy's ore is actually helping out immensely well. Actually, I could probably sell my old ore, to be honest, since I'm not using it anymore. Like, it's good for some builds, but to be honest, the spark's always better. You can't outdo the majesty of a taser. 
How about three times the price? Eh, debatable. Nice. Okay, so I think we're good. Eh. We don't have any more HP than the last time. Why is that? Oh, these things. You bastard took out all the HP. And damn, that thing's shooting across the map. No, 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 no. Let's take that. Beautiful. I was actually kind of wishing they had some hurricane launcher type of uh, peacekeeper. Because then that means basically my build would be perfect for every situation. Yeah, see, look at those turrets. Look at them. Mmm. I've lost so many oil rig protection type of games because of those damn things. Like, I don't even know why they're so good. They can just sit there and peck you to death. There we go. Let me in. Ooh, look at this. Who here is a longer truck? I think I have more impressive girth than this thing. Oh, yeah, look at that. I don't know. He can't even push himself in. He's too damn fat. See, that's the type of car I would like to have. Just roaming around that in a PvP battlefield, not even being useful, just being a giant bullet sponge, that's what you need to get. I don't even know why I like the aesthetic, too. I guess just being a giant hulking behemoth, that just, like, turns me on so many different ways. And it would make that, too. The only thing is I need about $300 worth of wheels for to actually get that. Oh, and I'd love to actually get those accessories, too. So, one second. Let me actually take out all of the... Oh, shit. Bad timing, bad timing. The Spitfire guy actually seemed to got it. Just disarm him. Alright. I think we'll be okay. Because now we just need to disarm all these mines. Ooh, no, 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 no. Stay right there. I got it. Ooh, shit. It actually took out my wheel. I thought this thing didn't do any damage. The thing is, in the old version of this game, when those mines used to, like, one-shot the convoys, those used to actually, like, intermittently not do damage to anybody. Like, you'd be able to completely avoid damage. Yep, okay, I'm crippled. But it used to be, like, you'd be able to avoid the damage entirely, so you just have to sacrifice yourself onto the mines. Come back here, you heathens. Hey, I, I don't think I'll make it. I don't make it to see Christmas, Grandma. Oh, these things could actually aim. I'd be dead. Oh, we're limping by in 45 HP. The thing is, our team is not even close to the uh, truck right now, and it's getting ass blasted. Come on, tase it. There you go. Stop going chameleon, you little shit. How is your chameleon even recharging that fast? Look at it, it just keeps on going into stealth. I keep getting the blind rage. Blind rage, blind rage, blind rage, blind rage. I must be just so angry there, sir. I'm sorry, I'm just acting out in some blind rage fashions. Here we go, we'll be okay. I'm just limping along with this piece of crap at this point. Ugh. You know, we could... Uh, I'm not sure if this would work, but having two tracks in the back instead, like armor tracks, instead of all these tires, that might... W okay, I'm dead. <laughs> and there's no way I'm respawning in. It's going to cost me way too much money. Hmm. I think it'll be okay. How the f what? Why is the nomad doing deja vu while skating its face across the ground? 
Deja vu. You just hear this terrible scraping sound from the distance. Deja vu. Just dragging steel across the chalkboard. No, only nine electronics. Oh, you bastard. You bastard. Look how effing close that is. One point. Oh, you're teasing my balls, sir. Oh. Well, shotgun guy, though, he actually did quite a bit well. I didn't expect him to do as well as he did. But I guess the shotgun build doesn't work well in this here. Damn, one point off. Ooh, nice. And we finally got the Genesis. Please tell me the prices are still high as hell. Yo, they are. Yeah, they're still the 40 buck range, but that's still artificially high. That is still really high. Fifty five oh one and one seventy oh two. One seventy one. Ooh, you bastard. One seven one point oh one. The guy charged me right then and there. Whoo, wow, this went down to one three six. Or sorry, one six eight. So three, six, eight, and then let's just lower that by a coin. God, why are they undercutting themselves so much? I'm like starting to bleed money. <laughs> I'll be honest, I'm still gonna bleed like twenty coins from that at worst. If not, I can just keep it to be honest. I got it for cheaper than what I would have paid. About like three coins, that is. And I can still use it in some builds. Alright. So I think we'll actually call it good here because my voice is getting shot. And I don't think I'll be able to stream if my voice gets too shot. So, you know what? I want to thank you all for joining me. I know it's maybe a little bit of an abrupt end, but I enjoyed my time with you all today. I honestly do. So, let's see. Let's call it good there. So I want to thank you all for joining me. If you had fun, then make sure to follow whatever platforms are your favorite. YouTube, Twitch, or Mixer. Although Twitch does have an RPG system as well as notifications appearing on stream, but YouTube does have a permanent archive of the thing to appear whenever you want. But other than that, there's Discord down below as well as social media links if that's your gig. And other than that, I'll see you later. Bye-bye. Although, although, if my voice returns, I may be able to stream earlier on tonight. The thing is, though, is that I have to go pick up somebody and they live like two to three hours away from me. It, I don't know why I'm doing it. I don't know why I agreed. But we gotta do it, so thank you all for joining me, and my raccoon's face is nowhere to be seen. Bye bye